But anyways, uh, you guys want to hear a funny story? Oh, absolutely, yes. I'd love to hear a story. <laughs> it's uh, it's fucking, sad. It's the head in the eyes. <laughs> I opened this up for the first time in like three or four months. A little paper cut, Sam. <laughs> like only fucking freaks are into this. Sensei Fruit, you're probably <laughs> one of them. Yeah, I oh, am. Yeah. What the hell is that? What the hell? Well, it's anatomy study. Okay, is this like a blackmail thing? Like, are you act- You're a bad person. <laughs> Pass on the seed, boy. Yum yum sauce. Yeah. <laughs> but it's gross when I look at it closely. I'm like, you see it's landlord. It's so distracting. I can't stop looking at it. Like, no, I, I'm okay. Do you have any, uh, you yeah. have any like, uh, uh, nude type drawings in there? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Sam, should you do like a an intro to this little? Oh my god, yeah, yeah. Let's come on, <sighs> let's hear it. Out the gate, off the rails already. Yeah. Uh, and when were you married? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Intro in place. It's uh, four twenty. This is forehead fables. Oh. Forget the episode. We got Not um important. the episode number. That doesn't matter. We got our guest today is uh, Sensei Fruit, a man not known for his personality, but his drawing. And we said, hey, not that shit all. perfectly translates to a podcast. Let's get this guy oh, on yeah, here, have him talk yeah, for an yeah. hour and a half. And, uh, and uh, he d then tells me that he hasn't been doing this shit long. He has no idea what the hell's going on. So this isn't giving me a lot of confidence. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there's that famous oh, Sam man. charm. Yeah, yeah no, I got God. on I got on Twitch and he was sitting and there streaming and shit like he was it was like uh something he had been doing a long time and then he gets in That's here, he's like, What the hell's going on? I just got a I'm computer a yesterday. He's <laughs> an artist. Man. Right now. Turn on stream, play video game, <laughs> and talk. That's what I do. <laughs> Oh, which, by the way, hold on, before we even get into this, at the end of last episode, we're talking about that uh, movie that you told Sturdecki and Zeechum to watch oh. called The Last Duel. Oh, my God. No, no, okay, no, some other stupid comedy Duel. movie, but you oh. said there was a, that movie, The Last Duel, that you told somebody to watch, and they were like, it's just the same story three times. Yeah. I went and watched that movie. It's fucking good. That's a good-ass movie. All right? Oh. It's, it's a pretty good movie. That's a damn yeah. good movie. Good recommendation. Matt Damon's not, mullet, uh, fucking awesome, well, insane, that insane. Was insane. Ben, ben Affleck's Affleck. golden tips yeah. in the twelve hundreds, perfect. And his accent, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Was, uh, I thought that movie was, a was great. Common trait in the medieval times. I love how the the tips. whole movie's three different perspectives on this. Like, and the, the whole thing is like one dude says that his wife got raped, and then the other guy's like, I didn't rape her; I just had sex with her. And then it, the third perspective is from the woman's perspective. And from each person's perspective, including the guy, it was all rape from every angle. There was no, yeah. there was no, I think there was no a, mincing words or anything. He wasn't uh, like play. She wasn't playing details. hard to get in his version. He was just like, yeah. yeah so, anyways, I totally just dicked her down, and she did not well, want it. I think it was a little <laughs> looser back then. Like <laughs> he was like, well, she no. took her shoes off at the base of the stairs. I'm like, yeah. he had to run faster. Like yeah. she's trying to get the fuck out I mean, of there. Yeah, he, it's just a testament to his twisted view, I think. But no, they came together. Is the movie I wanted you to watch? Oh, I'm sorry. I watched uh, a good that's movie. That's a different movie. It's uh, right. Last Duel. Once different again, genre. I've never like raved about on the podcast. I've I just thought it was good. It. it was pretty good. I mean, it's. It's yeah. entertaining. That that the last duel, quite thrilling, right? The fight was yeah. really good. Uh, it was very tense. I don't know. It was, uh, why why am I fucking talking about this movie again? You know what is funny <laughs> no, no, no. is I, I brought up the, the like the wiki page because I was like I want to see what other people think about this movie. That thing <clears throat> cost hundred million to make and it made thirty million dollars. Yeah. I think <laughs> it I think, bombed so hard. Oh, flop. I think House of Gucci bombed too. Which is like, what the hell's going on? You know, it's Ridley Scott movies. But, was that uh, him? Or, wait, no, who is it? Ridley Scott did The Last Duel. Oh, didn't he? Did he yeah. not? Oh. Yeah, no, no, I didn't know yeah, he did House, House of Gucci, Gucci. I think. Okay. You, the way you said that completely shattered my confidence, <laughs> no. if it had or not. I'm no, 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 like, no, I knew he made The Last Duel. I didn't even uh, know there was a movie named the, uh, the House of Gucci. 
Yeah, it's an it's an Adam Driver because it just doesn't Lady Gaga like a yeah. cat film. Well, Jared uh, Leto or whatever's in it and did a horrible job apparently, and then he gets uh, Morbius and it is like the biggest comic failure, biggest. Yeah. Hit. And he's oh. still starring yeah. in shit like next year. I'm like, ah, what is going and, on? With and this on guy? Twitter, people are screaming about him being like a predator Cult leader. Yeah, he's like a yeah. He's um, I don't I know. He's known for his method acting. Yeah. And, and the, yeah, I saw people screaming about Morbius. that too. They're like, just because you're a fucking dickhead uh, offset uh, does not mean you're method acting. Like, yeah, just getting in character, God. the yeah, character that, that nobody likes. Like, it, <laughs> it should probably benefit the movie in some way. I haven't heard a single good thing about Morbius. I don't even know what's about. I just hear people shitting on it. I feel like a really good actor would vampire. I think wouldn't have to train oh. that hard to do a role. You could just fucking. I am acting now. Like. <laughs> He was like sending. We did some insane shit during Suicide Squad. He like sent he people condoms, bullets some, some chick. bullets and shit. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. like, dude, yeah. you're playing like no. the worst Joker. What's that, that movie? Uh, Marathon Man. Um, one of the the it's like, like the antagonist <laughs> in the movie <laughs> was uh, telling Dustin Hoffman. He's like, because Dustin Hoffman plays a guy that runs marathons. And so he would just like be sleep wow. deprived and he would go for these long runs and stuff. So he'd be on set just absolutely like just drained. And the, his guy that was like co-starring was like, have you ever tried acting? <laughs> you don't have to. Just like it, can't, it shouldn't be that hard to just look tired and have someone mist you down with a spray yeah. bottle. <laughs> like, yeah. Just Ooh. sag your eyes a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You're torturing yourself, you for, fucking psycho. Yeah. Yeah, a um, little too far. And that movie's you know, not that great too. It's not worth. I don't think I've ever seen that. Sounds super familiar though. I can't believe I thought it would have a cooler plot than guy that guy runs, that runs like, yeah. Yeah. most movies. Is there like that, a conspiracy? <clears throat> most movies that've been coming out lately really have not felt that entertaining or it's well thought out. It's been like kind of a dry great. spell. Oh god, everything, everywhere, all at once. Check it out. Watch yeah. it in theater. If you can, so good. What is that? What is it? It's a new movie that came out that is, I, I really enjoyed it. It Yeah, seriously, that's what it felt like. It was the most fun I've had uh, watching a movie in quite some time. The most fun. Did you see that movie? This movie is the most fun you can have. What? Did you see that movie Tenet by Christopher Nolan? No, I haven't seen that. I fucking got three quarters of the way through that movie and I was like, what the fuck is even going on? Like, this is just so convoluted and stupid. And like, I don't give a shit about anybody in it. And I was like, next day, I was like, oh man, like, I think I was just a little bit frazzled at the time. Maybe I should give this movie a second chance because I just wasn't in the right headspace. So I tried to watch it a second time even more pissed off the second time because I was like, I was way more sober than I thought I was on second viewing. Yeah. This movie is just as much dog shit the second time around. I just fucking that's, hated it. I don't know why. so remember, disappointing. Yeah. And I, I love Nolan my, too. My little brother was watching it with me. Like whole family watching. Everybody's like a new film. This guy made the Batman movies. We got to watch this. And he was just like, Man, he was going backwards. That was really cool. That, you that's all that? I remember. You see I go backwards? Yeah, he, God, I was going backwards. Uh, oh. And that's pretty much all I got from that movie. Yeah, uh, and it really wasn't like backward. Like time wasn't going backwards. It was like yeah. objects were going backwards or something. And I was like, I don't know. what the fuck are you guys even talking about? Like They entered into a tunnel and then suddenly they were going that I, you know, Memento was as as confusing as it needed to get with that guy. He didn't have to make it that that confusing. Yeah, I, that's what a good cast too. I feel like just for it to kind of suck. Like, yeah. It, yeah, did it suck or is it just like, because eh. that's how I felt with like probably not that level. Okay, but like Green Knight was really pretty. And really yeah. cool, but I just didn't like enjoy watching it. A ton. Even if you didn't like the plot points of Inception, you could in scenes go like, oh, "This yeah. is this is grand in scale. This Bad feels ass. grand." Yeah, they spun and a whole building. Tenet was like something like, "What the fuck is like?" I don't even give a shit. Maybe I was. I feel like I was in just a bad headspace to watch it. You but should, it, you should watch it a third time. <laughs> I'm gonna try to give it a third going. I'm gonna give you guys an update every fucking week after I watch yeah. this movie repeatedly. <laughs> I I've made it through it. the first hour. It's my eighth watch through. Uh. Um, 
just do it, yeah. in, just do it, it. in different yeah. circumstances like one time you're sleep deprived another time you're fucking <laughs> wasted yeah <laughs> see yeah. which one you like the best <laughs> Fully alert in the morning after yeah. coffee, you watch it. Mm -hmm. Horny, not horny. horny yeah. 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 Just come to no come. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Trying every combination to just fucking get a smirk out of this movie or yeah. some good vibes out of it. It's not happening. Yeah. I heard it's really loud too. And it's like hard to hear the characters speaking, which is like a thing in Nolan movies, but I heard it's really prevalent. Well, the, uh, yeah, the, like the, the action's super loud and then like the, the vocals are yeah like conversations are almost unintelligible what sucks though is like i i kept going online like like trying to see you know i was like am i like the only person that doesn't like this movie and every negative review i've seen of it are just like why'd they get a, the black guy to be the main actor like it was just like a bunch of racists they're like who's this black guy why is he the main actor i'm like that's not like the critique that I don't think anybody gives a shit about. Like, there's a lot of problems with this movie, and that ain't one of them. Uh, yeah. Black guys yeah. on the cover. Like, but like besides it. that, I completely understood the film and like the yeah. Com yeah. complex, uh, the I detail. They explained it out to you. You're like, Jesus, wow. That's if only you were white, on, I would yeah. give this five stars. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh. yeah. Mm. yeah. Anyways, uh, you guys so, want to hear a funny story about my uh, my nephew going to get his haircut? Oh, yes. absolutely, yes. I'd love to hear a story. <laughs> of course. So my uh, my mom took the... This is the fucking stupidest thing she's ever done. My brother just got divorced and everything, right? So obviously there's like family tension. Anything that the in-laws, ex-in-laws do is under a fucking microscope by either the ex-wife or if... Uh, you know, the ex-wife's mother does something. It's under scrutiny by like my brother's camp. It's fucking lame, the whole thing. But uh, my mom was like, hey, I'm going to, you know, the kid, she was watching my brother's kids. His fucking hair is like so long and it refuses to go any direction. It's just like stringy. And it was just like hanging in front of his eyes. He looked like a 1990s bully with like a the bowl mom. cut. Yeah. And so she was like, I'm going to go get his haircut. So she calls up a barbershop and... uh <laughs> the, bar the barber's <laughs> <laughs> You know where this is going. I remember oh, this. You told me this. <laughs> so she calls up a barber shop and the barber shop uh, guy he just answers and he goes, Hey, uh, how you doing? And she goes, Hey, do you cut boys' hairs? And, and he's like, Yeah, sure, of course I do. Come on in. And uh and so she brings him on and she walks in and it's a black barber shop. And there is like not it is just every chair is full behind it. Is a black guy. Every chair is full of black dudes, and then the mm. fucking last chair at the end is open, and the the guy standing behind it's like beckoning her in, like "Come on in, like <laughs> I'm ready for you." <laughs> and my mom's like, "Oh boy, here we go." <laughs> and she walks in there, and the guy's like, "How do you want it cut?" And she's like, "I don't like a like a just regular boy cut, like you know, like." Since boy cut, your yeah, hair. Yeah. You know, boy just like one. a yeah. white boy haircut. I just yeah. want like a cracker haircut. Like, yeah. boy, you know, and the, and the barber's like, well, come on over here. I got like a whole wall of hairstyles. You pick one. And she walks over there. There's 50 pictures of black haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> Not a single white person. <laughs> the wall. It's so. <laughs> <laughs> and so she uh, finds her and she gets her phone out and like she's like 65 she's like i don't know what the fuck's going on with this thing and she's just like googling like white kid haircut <laughs> and she, eventually, <laughs> she eventually shows him like this haircut and he goes all right i got gotcha. you and he fucking ignored it <laughs> And gave this kid a fucking life. <laughs> the kid has a fucking fade, and I swear to God, he readjusted his hair and he gave him the line jaw. <laughs> oh God! Oh, uh, uh, that's good. That is sweet. Yeah, it oh. was pretty sweet. I saw him and I was like, dude, that is the cleanest line job oh. I've ever seen. Yeah. I've always wanted back. to see a white person besides Riff Raff to have a line job, and I've finally seen it, and it looks good. We should start oh doing it God. for sure. Yeah. Oh, and then what? She was blown away too because. Yeah. <laughs> 
he started like freaking out. It was his first haircut. He started freaking out in the chair, right? <laughs> and he was like hungry. <laughs> he wanted a snack. And so my mom saw there was like a little fridge there with like snacks that had like prices on them. And so she gets, uh, she gets uh, snacks out of there and stuff. And then she goes to pay. And they're like, yeah, we only do cash. <laughs> she was like, what the fuck? It's like 2022. You guys don't have cash app or nothing? Like Venmo? Something? <laughs> so she had to go walking around business to business trying to get cash back. <laughs> that was pretty That's funny. Good. Oh, and then after all that, like she was completely flustered and frustrated and stuff. She gets back. <laughs> And my ex sister in law and her mother <laughs> cried when they saw it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, no, what you do to my boy? Baby. He's so clean. He's so clean. His fade is so clean. He can't be going to daycare like yeah, this. Yeah, it was it. It was a joy. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his drip. <laughs> so drippy. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I told her she should have gotten him those uh, those clip on fucking uh, diamond studs for his ears. <laughs> yeah. That would have been a good addition. Did he get the lines? Inside, Dude, or, yeah, the, he should have gotten the brickwork and everything. <laughs> yeah. The lines, <laughs> the little line yeah. in his eyebrow where they just you yeah. know take the clipper there and do the line in. Yeah, yeah. I went to a place once that was like super Spanish barber vibes, and he got in there like I think it was like a South American place and. Uh, yeah, I asked for like my hair, but shorter <laughs> and like, you know, like just like, yeah, sensei hair, basically, you know, yeah. same, same thing. And I got like the, yeah, the fucking like cleanest fade with like a razor and like a line. I'm like, what the fuck? Like I didn't, I specifically remember one point being like, I don't want like a hard part or anything. And they'd like, they like, uh, and, like, they, like too, gelled yeah. my hair up so, and i was like going to the bars afterwards and i was like ah oh, fuck it and you know it, it looked it looked all right it looked a lot better like a week later but yeah the first night i was like geez i looked like i was out of the jersey shore so you know i was like at that Holy point you shit. have to accept and just move on it was so yeah. much hairspray That's... and gel putting it like, <laughs> like it was... dude coincidentally my grandfather he said it looked a lot better a week later my grandfather was a barber, and he used to ask me, how do you want your hair cut? You would tell him, and he would go, that's nice. And then he would just cut it the way he wanted <laughs> oh, every time. Oh, but he would always Lord. tell us, the difference between a good haircut and a bad haircut is two weeks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's just it's like, if I fuck up your hair, just wait two weeks, you'll like it. It doesn't matter. It'll grow back. Like, fuck, right. dude. Oh. Do you guys have like a standard haircut growing up that your parents just got you or like oh, yeah. were you able to be yeah. free with? I had a buzz cut. Like my mom always wanted me to grow my hair out long and my dad, every time I go to his house, our neighbor cut hair and she would just like buzz cut my head. And my dad's oh, like, it's yeah. easier that way. And then, mm. yeah, they'd fight. Yeah, fight, fight. Your neighbor oh, for that shit. Got pretty physical. <laughs> my well, parents I, always cut my hair. My mom did. And she used to always every time cut it short to i have like a cowlick right here and one on the back of my head where the hair would always stick up thing. and she would perfectly cut it short enough to where it would just sit straight up on my head oh, yeah. i look yeah. like alfalfa in a way yeah, yeah. Cartoon that's pretty much kid. until i was 15 yeah pretty <clears throat> much how it always looked hey, wait where are you from <laughs> I grew up in Alabama. I was about to say, I could tell during that little story you just said, there was a little bit of a, oh. you had a little bit of a fucking so some twang. stank on them words. Yeah. Some twang. Yeah. A little bit of twang <laughs> in there. A little yeah. bit of twang in there. Yeah. The, Southern I've gentlemen. lived in the South my whole life. Yeah. Mm. Pretty much. Are you in uh, Alabama now? Kept it. I'm not. I'm in Tennessee now. That also explains so why you I got married so early. Well, yeah. Kept it traditional. Yeah. Stayed in the. You have a traditional area in a church. You get married in a church. Oh yeah, yeah. I thought you were gonna say the whole kept nine it in yards. the family, but I was like, <laughs> yeah, kept it in the family, the yeah. traditional Alabama way. Yeah, yeah. really. Do you, yeah, do you no. go to church? I do. Oh really? Yeah. We've been on a roll with yeah. these uh, these a lot Christian of guys. Either. Yeah, our last I know, dude I just was like a pastor the last or something. Episode. And I was like, oh, that guy's a Sunday school teacher. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. he came on that show. Wow. They're both in Tennessee <laughs> too. Mm -hmm. uh, you should he, go to his oh, Sunday yeah. school class. He's a yeah. he's a Wait, nice guy. Should I? Interesting. Yeah, it could be very close because I actually I can I don't dox myself by saying this. 
I live close to Mammoth Cave. So. Get him! Oh yeah. wait, yeah, yeah. Oh he yeah, yeah. Go to, to a Sunday Cave. school yeah. thing. There's like there oh, can't be more I'll, than I'll like an attendance. We'll fifteen hundred people in that whole state. I'm sure you can find them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. luckily for you, if you get offended easily, we already did our like Jesus ripping segment last episode. Yeah. I, I doubt we kind of milked that nut. <laughs> I don't. I I don't. I went to I I went to school for an art degree, and I hung out with some of them strangest people uh you can hang out with so mm. yeah, they, yeah, art students they let me know art students, art students are, like have, are very strong opinionated about faith i remember a- abby was in art art school which was kind of funny because she was like not of the, the it, like, like, like not of like the mind space yeah, to be stupid um, no, like they, they were really into like stupid. the idea ah, behind the art. And she was like, can I just make something that is aesthetically cool? <laughs> and they were like, That's no, you can't, you can't do that. This shit's got to mean something. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, got to have meaning. Yeah. And deepness. yeah. I told yes. her just I lie to him. Taking... Just make up shit. Oh yeah. No, I, I remember taking like four or five art history classes and I couldn't tell you the first thing about the history of painting or the history of printmaking or anything. Not a single thing. I was there to learn how to draw cool. Mm-hmm. And pretty much it. So and I did three D modeling classes, which was pretty cool actually. So learn how to build objects in a three D space is pretty fun. I so. did a three uh, D class too, and it was sweet. But our uh, final sweet. project, you had to walk. I think I've talked about this before. You had to walk through it through it with like weird little VR goggles. And oh, as so, like a massive procrastinator, I made my final project in like one day. Do you just download the map on VR my chat? Whole fucking class and my teacher <laughs> go through it. And you could project. have like guests. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a big event, like end of the year thing. <laughs> and I, wow, it was still better than my than, project. It was still cooler or er, better than like some people in my class. Like I just got a Snapchat memory in like a decent college. And a like pretty good art program at the beginner classes. There are some people that are like I'm not very good at art, Insane. but like holy shit! Like, like I had one. It was like a minion Photoshop with like minions attacking our school, and they looked like it was clip art like put on it. I'm like, you are like 19 years old or something, oh, and, or God. 20, and like holy shit, this looks like garbage. And but like there art is, classes are really yeah. fun like that because. Like, the expectation and all the beginner ones are so low. Like I made mine night of and people were like, this is great stuff. Like you really like put some work into this and it's like, Oh my God, dude, like that is eight hours of like caffeine fueled. Like, uh, you walk around in this field and then like you go in a spaceship and that's because I just got really good at be like fake explaining shit. depth. <laughs> yeah. Like I would just come Talk up with something about like project, yeah. why it was deep that day. And they'd eat, they'd eat it up yeah. so hard. Yeah. I, uh, Complete I remember we were supposed to make some deep emotional project or something about our inner feelings. I drew a castle. So, oh, and, that was, yeah. and I made it look sick. And I was like, this castle? Been there. You wall people and off. The feeling, yeah, the feeling <laughs> of walking through that castle is great. And I just remember, yeah, doing all kinds of stuff. These are from my final show to final senior project. They're just... Angels of Death watching over me. And I was like, had to really think about what it felt to die and, you know, maybe and go through pain of death. And I really milked it. And I, oh. that was it. So <clears throat> I used to work at plus. these fucking apartment buildings and I would do maintenance there. And we had a, uh, a work order to go like do some shit at this lady's apartment. Right. And most of the kids there were law students, but this lady was an art student. She was one of the few art students. And we walked in and she immediately goes, watch out for the painting on the floor. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> and my coworker goes, what painting? Turns around, steps first into a, he steps oh. into a paint tray with black paint in it and then goes, oh shit, steps out of it and then steps immediately on her painting <laughs> and leaves a giant Timberland oh. black footprint. Oh my God. <laughs> it looked like Damn. a fucking footprint that like csi nice. would do to catch the killer's feet yeah. you know it was just right in the middle of that oh shit nice that's yeah. so funny oh uh, dude i i, I uh i had a stroke of that luck on stream was yesterday i even said i'm like no i'm not gonna talk about it on the podcast it's fucking stupid but that reminded me of it of just like oh don't like oh shit i ordered uh 
DoorDash yesterday. You know, shocker for that. Hell yeah. <laughs> and they forgot my drink. Shocker. As usual, my large yeah. drink. I don't trust the drink from these people. Am I the they only never, one where, the, like, when I go to sip it, I'm like, oh. oh they you mean, the fucking that. thing. Like, Somebody don't trust something. them to bring me a drink. They forget my drink so goddamn drink much. It. Oh, no. I yeah. just, if I get it, I think of it as a great pleasure, and I drink it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I'll, oh, they maybe i'll Thank bring you. it down to your taste uh, test live uh, they did give me a lemonade yesterday that is pff, like i thought it was gag lemonade at first or something <laughs> it is 99 percent sugar content and maybe like a lemon <laughs> drop on top of it it like i have a sweet tooth and there is nothing that i eat and i'm like that was rich you know i'll just <laughs> this is like uh, over three nights, <clears throat> even with me getting like incredible munchies, I've probably drank this much of a <laughs> bottle of lemonade. No <laughs> label on it, too. It's just in <laughs> their own, the like they made it is? in house. It's yeah, a yellow that? bottle. <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's also just red in these lemonade, so I don't know what is the going on. The problem with lemonade is there's so many different hues of red to yellow. Yeah. It can be, yeah. it can be anything in between. It's, it is uh, frightening, but anyway, I. They didn't give me my goddamn drink, so I filled up a water, and I was I plated my I got a Tennessee hot chicken. You would know about Tennessee hot oh, chicken. Oh yeah, Tennessee hot Tennessee chicken, chicken on the plate, chicken. and my fucking cornbread, and I'm balancing that and my water in one hand. And I was walking down the stairs, and I fucking like whoa, like stumble because Pip is like on my feet always when I'm walking around. Yeah. And I drop my sandwich on the stairs, and then spill my water onto the fucking. Sandwich? sandwich oh. on the stairs. Oh. and i'm just like no like it's impossible like what just <laughs> happened and i was flabbergasted no. it like i was having a great stream before that i was playing valor i'm like giddy we're winning i was in such sure. a funk i was carrying that. I was actually like, i was yeah, there you, you were i'm like what the fuck was that like how did that just happen i had to eat a soggy <laughs> chicken sandwich that instantly cooled it down to a little yeah i mean probably i don't know if that's how it works well but for it the world of competitive valorant water. that was probably like the the most efficient Smart, yeah. way to eat a chicken sandwich yeah. no, wet it yeah, so the bun true. smaller yeah. get in between rounds yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I, cool I down the, the chicken hot dog competition 20 seconds no problem. <laughs> yeah. i know i've told you guys about it. this but like i <laughs> you dropping your sandwich and carrying on up the stairs and still playing Valorant, I'm assuming you didn't cry right there. I just, every no, time I someone drops saying, a sandwich, no, I remember my brother crying. dropping his burger onto the floor of his truck and then sobbing. <laughs> he was he crying. He's crying. He's a grown. He's a grown <laughs> ass man. That is. He pathetic. dropped his burger on the floor of his truck as we're <laughs> as we're merging onto I-10. So it's like life or death <laughs> situation. He's sitting there oh. just like. <laughs> crying behind the wheel <laughs> i'm like dude like keep hurts, it together dude. like you can have my burger dude. i just want to live if, if it just hit the stairs <laughs> i wouldn't burger. have been that mad like i'd be like oh fuck oh. but it's that my water then spilled on it like yeah. it just like was so rapid fire shit luck that like um i should have ordered that food. Didn't, like, pay like, for it or anything, so. and delivery so fee for that meal and delivery yeah and the meal i ordered before just didn't show up like i ordered jimmy john's they just shaft and like they uh, this is not good talk for here but they actually work separately from doordash they deal with their shit like in-house so you can't report it as like my missing item on the app uh, and just twice now i've ordered from this jimmy john's near me and they just so they, you, my just, order. you don't get like your money back like it's just gone I to, I, and then i tried calling jimmy john's both times and they just don't pick up the phone dude that's <laughs> like, a, like a two-star that's like a fucking I probably racket. Been, that is so yeah. awesome yeah. i'm gonna yeah, open a just... jimmy john's that will never serve a single sandwich and i'm just gonna link up with doordash <laughs> and i'll be like fucking gate yeah. Uh, just... yeah i know it kind of feels like i'm being played yeah but, it definitely yeah. does i'm sure if i called them at like 10 a.m they'd answer but then it's like i have to explain like i was a guy that ordered like two days ago and uh the food you know they they get so many orders but or maybe they don't i don't know it has a really bad review rating I was only because they hungry. haven't delivered a sandwich in i know six yeah yeah i know i'm starting <laughs> to get that uh yeah. i it was like the only thing open which is like it's insane i live like in indianapolis and there is like nothing on doordash at night it, like I don't even think I have the option for DoorDash for anything. Probably a different app or something. Like, Maybe it's a different app. Oh yeah, well I have DashPass, so 
Uh, well, what the yeah, fuck? I'm not gonna not use my dash pass. What, what do you mean, what the fuck? You don't dash have dash. Pass? No, it's dash pass. The, the problem to, is, there's like pay three a monthly different... subscription for like free delivery or something. Yeah, it's right? like uh, free delivery on a lot of orders yeah. and certain coupons. I don't like. I don't get those services you where you have everybody. to like pay more no to fees. save money. It doesn't make sense to oh, me. Oh no, I mean. It doesn't. I don't like the idea. If you're of it, like poo poo eats money. like DoorDash three times a week or more, it, it like pays itself off. Oh, yeah. You know I mean? Five times a week. have these things called wives, and Brian has this yeah. thing called a stay-at-home maid. Yeah. No, not his mom. I am just lazy. <laughs> so, and he, and yeah, they fix food. You should get Pip <laughs> to make you food. What kind of food do you think Pip would make? <laughs> Uh, probably from seeing what he eats, probably dog shit and rock sandwich or <laughs> something disgusting. He just eats the weed. most vile things, like yeah. worms he's been trying to get lately because it's oh. raining. Oh, yeah. He's just slurping them up like spaghetti. Oh, my dog freaks out. When he, she knows when it starts raining, those worms are going to be out there flipping around on the pavement. And she's like, come on, let me out there. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, it's, it's feeding time. Any, anytime there's like rabbit shit in the yard or something, it's like fucking fine dining. It's pretty <laughs> yeah. gross. But uh, I do love him. But yeah, you were and saying last... like walking up and down the stairs. He's like around your feet. Oh my That's, god! Yeah, yeah, I have a staircase that it just terminates into a very hard concrete floor and then a plate glass <laughs> window. And I'm like, uh, I tell my dog, I'm like, if you even fucking get on this staircase while I'm on it or the kids are on it, it's game over. Like I have. She doesn't understand what I'm saying, but she gets the yeah, tone. I was say, like, and so as English. I'm going down, and she gets the eyes too, because I fucking I'm capable sometimes under rare conditions of giving very evil glares, and she Ugh. has picked that up, and so she stands at the top of the stairs looking at us till we're at the bottom, and then she follows us down. But sometimes oh. she gets excited if I like hint that maybe she might get a treat, and we're down in the basement, oh. and when I, when I go up the stairs, she'll like run up and then fucking cut me off halfway up the staircase. Dude, I'm telling. I'm gonna. Yeah. When you guys eventually get bad news from day. somebody that I've died, it's gonna be that staircase <laughs> or uh, Abby. Yeah. Concrete wall. Yeah. Then, yeah. Glass, yeah. Then, yeah. then crumple yeah. Like onto a, the concrete chain of events and then yeah. shoot yeah. out the plate yeah. glass yeah. window. Yeah. And into this room right on camera right <laughs> yeah. while you're yeah. streaming. Yeah. Yeah. On your back. Your first like stream this, back. You slide in with a bloody trail. How do you think we would find out if you died with Abby? I honestly, oh God, I was camera. thinking about that. Like Abby does that uh, relationship thing it. where she no. she feigns interest in what I do. You know what she I mean? Like, no I don't give a shit about what Discord. she does during the day, and she doesn't give a shit about what I do. Yeah. But like, <laughs> yeah. we just go like, "How was isn't your she day?" Your, like, is she, she like your assistant now? Yeah, she's like, my assistant. She, she doesn't give a fuck. She does. She, 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 she would. She would let that shit burn to the ground if she could. Like, she doesn't. She has to answer all the fucking emails from people that are like, "My mug broke" or whatever, and she is like, "Fucking show me a picture of it. I'll get you a refund." Or I'll send you a new one. She like begrudgingly does it. But is she, there anybody uh, that knows that? Like, are there gonna be people that are gonna send messages yeah, like, hey, Abby, like, what's hey, up? Abby. Like, oh, hey, yeah. Abby, no, are you gonna... your fucking yeah. job? Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> oh my no, god. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do that. that. I'm still on hot water cut. over telling her yeah. to watch the therapist episode. Yeah, stall cut that. Yeah. yeah therapist so, episode, not yeah. a good one to jump into. Wife, well, you could, yeah, you could easily I, get her to I just download remember it anything, being really funny, so. and so I told her to watch it, and I forgot that I talk a lot about sex stuff in there. And then <laughs> a it, lot of the older ones, I've thought about that because my dad keeps being like, "When are yeah. you gonna let me see this?" <laughs> and uh, I'm like, if I were to show him one, which one would I show him? And There's none. They they always take a dark turn they're somewhere. Not, like I think honestly, maybe like the Freddy or Windigoon were like the least Most pure. The most pure, yes. Yeah. In uh, that, like, there was almost educational at points. Yeah. It's sad that the cleanest thing we have is us laughing about a guy dying in a cave. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but it's true. Well, like, you. some of the older podcasts will be like, ooh, uh, where it's just Brian and I screaming at each other. So I'm like, hey, here's what I do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, yeah. I, I think I might die with this secret as long as I can keep it. But once again, we've talked. To, there's so many ways they could find it so easily. Yeah. But, but to uh, answer your question, yeah. if I do die, I, I think remember. Abby oh, yeah. would make the connection that she should probably tell you guys, and then just she would just decide not to. I think she can't. Uh, probably. She, no, she's like, oh, those guys no, depend no, 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 on no. this for like money or whatever. 
Fuck him. Like, she would, uh, <laughs> she like, so what's she gonna do? All. Keep uploading with her as the host? And, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, she just, yeah, she just shows up for an episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he hey, died hey, or whatever, but no. we still have like a mortgage payment and stuff. Uh, and like, they oh the big floor. So. the kids. <laughs> yeah. go that way. Or she could be like, he's fine. He's on vacation. I'm taking <laughs> yeah. over. Like, yeah. And then just maybe move it to a $10 Patreon <laughs> that month or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, if she. Oh man, yeah. I hope you don't die. That would really put a damper in this podcast. <laughs> that would really, really fuck up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you'd be dead. Yeah, all that too. But oh. I don't care about that really part. I'm gone. Yeah. Suffer. Yeah. Oh well. I'm pretty sure it'd be better for my career if I passed away uh, with art. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, art would definitely get more away valuable. And then, God, wow! Look at his art. That was Whoa. incredible. Yeah. Uh, All of a sudden, like that forehead so fables, like art you did, that shit would be on t shirts and stuff. It'd be like, rip sensei fruit and yeah. stuff. Like, whoa. Well, outside of the occasional fan art here and there, I used to make traditional art only, like all ink art, black and white drawings, you know, real fine. That pieces. feels better to Those make because it's a like a tangible. Yes, like this right here. Like on a piece of this. paper. Nothing feels better than touching something to actual paper. Ooh. I opened this up for the first time in like three or four months, and the, paper the cuts feeling down. was <laughs> incredible. Yeah. You ever look at your old artwork and go, holy fucking dog shit, that sucks. I was <laughs> looking at the stack right now. I have every sketchbook since I was 13 on this bookshelf. Damn. Show us a, so, a 13 yeah, year old yeah, sensei a through oh, original. Go. Okay, we'll go. We'll start. Here was the last ink drawing I did. It's a. Uh, it's like a castle. Whoa. Is it gonna badass. That is, that's really badass, actually. Yeah. This was a two hour minimum. I challenged myself to try to finish in two hours. It's um, like the cover of like a teen drama book. Maybe, you know maybe. I mean? like a vampire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. castle. Let me, hold up. Yeah. I, want, I bet you. Three. Let's, let's see if we can get him to flip through this thing really quick and see if he had any 13 year old boob drawings he did. You know he did. <laughs> well, it's anatomy study. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. If you're yeah. drawing, you have yeah. to draw the whole bookshelf. Why is he he's yeah, drawing him getting did. jerked off by Minnie Mouse or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, like, you have any, uh, you have yeah. any like, uh, you know, like uh, nude type drawings in there? Oh, uh, no. No, I, yeah, at no. 13, ever, you didn't draw. You didn't try to draw like the perfect shape. Oh, boob. actually, I oh, drew a really, was or something. Yeah. really like disgusting, uh, like fat dudes. I don't know why. What are you like autistic? Just, like, like really, like, really <laughs> big, and them getting cut open by like dragons. I don't think I have like, just by dragons. This is like a yeah, bad version of Shrek, listen, like okay. flying through. Or is like, by yeah. a dragon? So, what the fuck? Is it a dragon with a little shank? What the thirteen? Okay, this castle is. I uh, sorry, I have uh, sketch like sketches from when I was a kid, well, and I used to draw big battles ball. like that all the Every, time. It's, it's that's what so I was gonna fun. say. I, the and reason my, I didn't is because all I would draw, yeah, is big battles um, with like mine castles. would have like Star Wars Episode Two clones fighting oh God, like with GI Joes <laughs> fighting against like dragons and shit. And what were these badass? The giant walkers. That look like elephants. ATs. Yeah. Oh, AT -AT. AT, yeah. yeah. No, not ATATs. The other ones are like big that's elephants. They are. Star Wars. Oh, is that them? Okay. Elephants. Uh, I used to oh, at the Wars very bottom of the shine. page would be the ground, of course, because my mind sucked. And uh, there was always little ATATs <laughs> yeah. walking around. And then there was guys parachuting from up above yes, from playing. Yeah, parachuting guys like are a staple. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, damn. I, I think know. I completed yeah. more of those than actual like homework assignments throughout my entire <laughs> when, oh, that exact yeah. same scene. I used to draw on all my homework and oh, get God, in yeah. the most trouble. Oh really? The they time. wouldn't appreciate it? Uh well, so my, fat I was homeschooled guys. actually for a long period yeah, of time. Didn't, then, they were like, stop drawing fat guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God, this is fat guy jerking cool. off again. Come on. Yeah. What is this on the, this is, I'm drawing my husband on all of your homework. You're in the fifth grade again. Stop drawing. You got all the answers right, but uh, God. This, uh, I used to draw on the desks too. I used to like. I actually you got in trouble. Were, I got suspended for vandalizing home. my school with my art once. I thought you were your school. school? What? what you no, fuck? not from <laughs> you had yeah, a place for a week. They put me on the street for a week. Yeah, suspended. No, I went to public school and high school, but okay. until then I was homeschooled. But uh, in high school, the baseball field was getting brand new concrete. 
it was a big deal. The school was finally getting a little budget to put a nice concrete in. And I saw it one day after practice and I was like, oh, wet concrete. And so I drew this dude doing a kickflip on a skateboard and wrote, saw, dude, with the cool S, the big yeah, cool the, S. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My I name always started Keep with those. Yeah. I, I thought that <laughs> uh, I was scot free or something. And there's this little camera in the corner of the school, like a whole football field away. And it caught me in my stupid little slides and backpack, sitting there just drawing in it. And I got suspended for like a full week, Jesus. almost kicked off the team. Uh, it was. Yeah, it was a mess. You're like, it's wow. that fucking weird homeschooled no. kid that just yeah. showed up. Yeah, yeah. Like, going yeah. fat guys. I remember. <laughs> yeah. Going, Get yeah. Yeah. yeah, the principal brings me and was like, was this you? And I was like, oh, I don't know. They didn't even I, need the maybe... footage. They, they were like, yeah. another fat guy drawing. We know who this yeah. 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 God, yeah, did everybody brutal. think you were a yeah, freak because you didn't? Oh, right. yeah, yeah, dude. I didn't talk to anyone and it was brutal. Yeah. yeah. I also attempted to play three sports, football, basketball, and baseball. Yeah. Just the problem is those are all team sports and they require yeah. social yeah. skills. That home yeah. Yeah. Kids communication. Have, yeah, communication. Stuck, I actually probably would have done better with golf, too. I, yeah, I there's golf, a lot of silence so. out there on the, the Yeah, ranks. just yeah. Yeah. in your... Your lots of voice, lots of air yourself. and and <laughs> quiet dead space for you to fantasize yeah. about Grass. fat dudes jerking yeah. off. Hey, maybe yeah. that or yeah. like swimming, swimming. You don't really talk much while you're yeah. doing it. It was like my graduating <laughs> class at that school was probably like fifty people. Uh, oh, 60 Jesus people. Christ! So, yeah, you went too small. Yeah. Oh, so, cool. uh, not many dude, options. I was like, I guess I'll try. Like Ninth grade into yeah. a class of fifty. Yeah, that's dumb. Yeah. They know each other. You like, yeah. yeah. I remember my like pre-cal classes being with like group of eighth graders and ninth graders. So. <laughs> and so it's like together for nine years, <laughs> yeah. and you just show up. These guys Everyone have was known best each friends. other for a decade, and they're like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" <laughs> I remember it's just I would just do nothing. I just draw, and everyone would be like, oh. "So my last oh, name worm. happens." This is coincidental because your name is your poob online. My last name rhymes with pube, and oh, uh, that was my nickname from ninth grade Pube. till twelfth grade. So. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, you brutal. was? Oh, that, yeah. yeah that, uh, What's the, um, the dating scene like with a class of 50? Uh, uh, really interesting. Um, everyone dated each other kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That's how I remember it. Uh, I'd be like, oh, you're hitting on my girl? Well, I dated her two years ago or something uh, like that. It's like that kind of thing. Uh, or there was a lot of seniors dating freshmen, which is... Uh, kind of... Kind of like every kid. high school, no. I think. Yeah, it was... Kind of like Ralph wanted. Macchio and the Karate Kid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, that kind of total kind of vibe. Also, like where I was at the time in the Appalachian Mountains, a bunch of like tall, freakishly tall people. I don't know. Uh, mountain kind of folk, weird. yeah. Mountain folk, yeah. Gross. Yeah, a lot <laughs> yeah, of my, my family is from very interesting. Yeah, Appalachian Mountains. So that's why I'm so tall and freak, freaky. Yeah. yeah. Freaky looking. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. I, just, I uh, somehow doubt that. I'll, I'll know next week when we see I, each other. Oh, <laughs> I guess yeah. like yeah. is not a way I've Whoa. ever been described. Yeah. Uh, I'm Dude, it is a week from now, is it? Holy shit. Tall. So y'all are hiking the Appalachian Trail? No. No, we, uh, we picked someplace way cooler. Like dude, a kind I'm of really a hot spot international my, my destination. Uh, oh, good. Idaho. Oof. Nobody goes to Idaho. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but we are, baby. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Interesting. So if one of our planes go down, do we keep going with it in honor of them? or we What, on the trip? It? Yeah. Yeah, if yeah, someone's... for sure. We're there. Wanna... I'm not going to sit there yeah, in an just... Airbnb and fucking mourn some person I haven't met yet, unless it's Bizzle. Yeah, what if Bissell died? Then yeah, we Bissell, yeah. that would be weird. We'd be fucked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be. That would put a, a serious crimp in this because he's really. Oh god. Well, he's the muscle guy. We're using him to carry a lot of the stuff. Oh, no, I know. I'd just be all like, uh, oh man, if he died. <laughs> yeah. 
be more fun or if he was here. Yeah. <laughs> now we gotta oh, each carry camera. more shit. Oh my god. Sucks, yeah. god. But. Oh, dude, you're just gonna carry the tent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You're carrying the tent. <laughs> no. well, well, why? You're carrying the tent. The you're carrying the it, tent. I mean, it, it's, it, as long as it's all divvied up equally, that's fine. Yeah, if no, no. It, it shouldn't be portion. equal. I think the heavier people should have heavier stuff, but. Uh, I'm carrying like all the camera equipment and then Bizzle also has a lot of camera equipment to carry. And then Brian's carrying all the food and you're carrying a tent. I have camera equipment too. You get all the food. That's awesome. Yeah. You're the food guy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wait, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. How, in what way am I carrying this? Like, what is it in? Is it in a On bag? bag? Cause I'm going to have a backpack. Like, do I just hold it? Yeah. yeah just, How do you carry things? No, well, 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 I mean, we, like, is there a more? There's got to be a more efficient way than yeah. just like holding. We, we're gonna get a big camera and stuff. No, no. I mean, you have a backpack on, right? Yeah. And the backpack has straps, right? Yeah. So what you, you do is you take a lanyard and you tie it to the strap, and then we just, get a big weather balloon with me. helium, yeah. and, <laughs> and it floats behind you like the like the house and up <laughs> through the wooded uh, forest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I've been trying to, yeah, I need to figure out, like, if I take a hiking backpack, I just bring that as my suitcase, I guess. I, I have one, one checked. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I, don't I feel like I'm going to underpack, but. I went to Belgium once and just a, lot. a backpack That's for a week. Cooler. So you could do that. Dude, you can That's tell cooler. people that actually travel. Like, Bizzle just showed up with, like, a backpack. <laughs> Dude. He just—he came over to my house and he just Throw stepped off the plane the with like a backpack. He was like, "Hey, what's up?" Um, <laughs> and yeah, I was like, cool. "People that travel a lot, they just bring." They're like, "I mean, it's not like you're gonna arrive and there's not gonna be like a clothing store if you need extra." You know, it's Idaho. I don't know yeah. what the fuck they have out there <laughs> I, and what they don't have. Potato I don't sacks. know. Yeah. yeah. Hey, did did I did, remind remind me if I told you guys this on the on the podcast? But did I tell uh, you guys about calling up an outdoor store to make sure they had yeah. gear for us? Yeah, yeah. I thought you talked about it on the podcast. Did I? I, yeah. I called up and, and, and I was like, hey, do you guys have any uh, propane for like make sure there wasn't like a shortage before we this. show up? Got to go to your best pro. I know, yeah. right? Well, I called this place because it's like in between the Airbnb and the airport. <laughs> and it's like a local outdoor place. So I was like, hey, I'm going to call and make sure there's not a shortage. Make sure they can put some away on a shelf or whatever for us. I didn't want to show up and, and they not have the crap that we need, you know, because yeah. it's like we're just going to starve out there. And the guy's like, well, funny story actually is we're going out of business at the, in the first of next month. And I was like, oh, are you guys having like a liquidation sale? Ooh. And he's like, uh, coincidentally, we are. Um, and if, oh, wow. you know, we don't have enough, like whatever, you, you know, you can always check up on like the REI right down the road. I was like, oh shit, there's an REI? Yeah, All right, yeah, yeah we'll stop by your place yeah. and get all the cheap shit. And if yeah. you don't have anything else, I'll just go to the REI. And I was like, I didn't realize there was an REI. He's like, yeah, well, the, that's like, why everybody we're going else. Out of business. <laughs> He's like, yeah. well, everybody else didn't realize there was us. So that's kind uh, of. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And I looked it up on Google Maps. Yeah. They are within eyesight of REI. Like, oh, REI Jesus. opened oh, up a oh, right horrible. next to them and just pushed them out of business. Yeah. REI opened up a year ago, too. And they've been there since like 80s or something. Yeah. That's tough. Mm -hmm. His grandfather, his grandfather owned it. <laughs> grandfather. <laughs> this is all I have. Yeah. Well, yeah, we should this definitely. Yeah, some of those sales, they sell mannequins, too, pretty cheap. Oh, so. yeah, that'll be easy to bring back on a fucking yeah. plane. Yeah, well, I'll just get them an extra yeah, that'll ticket. be a carry-on. You can dismantle sure. it, right? You yeah, just, I can dismantle you know. stuff in yeah, my they, bag. That's yeah. not going to be suspicious to TSA. <laughs> they see a bunch of limbs and shit in a suitcase. A head. There's a family. And, There's of course, because you assemble it, you're going to uh, pack a hacksaw uh, and everything. So yeah, yeah, hacksaw, a bunch of limbs. Uh, hammer to get it back together. Why'd you put makeup and a wig on it? <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, yeah. No, but uh, I have no idea what I was about to say. I don't know why I even brought up the mannequin. Because uh, <laughs> you wanted a mannequin. Yeah. yeah I guess I do. I, I feel mean, like Sam you could, is you really could do done more. well with one. No, I haven't. I I got it and I have a plan with it, but I just haven't acted on that plan. You want to hear my plan? Yeah. So sure. This this guy contacted me. That's a little bit more tech savvy than I am, and he's like, "Hey, you take." 
it was the funniest shit too because he sent me like an unlisted video if you watch this i'm really sorry because i'm about to flame the shit out of you even though you're being really nice to me he sent me oh. like the most autistic unlisted video that was like nine and a half minutes explaining what he was gonna do he could have wrapped this shit up in 30 seconds but i was sitting there just like dude come on like spit it out holy shit basically what he wants me to do is photo scan my head hundreds of pictures going around my head and then he's going to oh. map it and then 3d print it and then he's going to send it off to his friend that lives in canada that does like the uh like the figurine painting and oh, yeah and he's going to paint it to look exactly like me and then i'll fucking saw her head off and i can have my head be Whoa. the mannequin's head Someone mm. came to you with that idea? Yeah, it was or, a great idea. It just nuts, took forever man. for him to spit it out. It's going to take, like, in, like, eight months we'll see this, and it'll be badass, <laughs> yeah. but it's going to take well, a while. I, yeah, he, things, he's, so. like, messaging me. He's like, why haven't you taken the pictures yet? I was like, I, I, I just haven't, like, <laughs> set up, like, a, like, how do I even fucking do that? camera, yeah. yeah. And I was uh, like, can I, I no just, idea. like, sit on a stool and, like, spin or something as idea. it takes yeah. pictures? He's like, no, it has to have a different fucking background. So that it, like, can find points to, like, oh, map the 3D space Jesus on. Christ. Yeah. Yeah. That just sounds like that's beyond my skill level. That's, that technology is pretty cool. That is. Yeah. That is really cool yeah. that you can do that. That is badass. But, yeah, it's a lot of work. I've, you know. How many pictures is it? As content creators, that's just more work. Like. Yeah. We're not used really to that. I Too still need photos. to do my fucking voice lines for that Fallout mod. Uh, I'm assuming you do, too. Uh, uh, which one, the follower one or the or yeah, the, the follower uh, yeah? One. I haven't done the follower one, but I did get contacted for a New Vegas mod. Ooh, nice. That this guy has a huge lineup of of mods that he's done, and they, they it's like a it's like a serialized story. Like each one builds upon the previous ones. And oh, I'm, that's cool. He he contacted me to like play a um a pimp. Oh, and nice. so you're gonna method act and treat Abby like shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the, the story of this him, guy, yeah. his name's Papa Chapman. He was a uh, he was a, a dude that was in Caesar's Legion, and then he like goes undercover as a pimp, and then he actually likes the lifestyle of a pimp. It's way better than being in the Legion, but he is very much like a uh, true romance uh gary oldman like white guy pimp with a very ebonics laced like vernacular <laughs> and i think they looked around and they're like we can't find a single white guy to talk like this so they're like this guy doesn't give a fuck about what he says <laughs> it's like we're just no. they're and like the script is so funny because they're like can you just sound black please like they didn't know oh how else to word it. <laughs> they're like you wow. have to just sound black and i was like all right i can do that <laughs> All right, whatever God. you say, I'll do anything for this mod. Yeah. Well, you want me to wear blackface too? Okay, just go. Sure. Watch, just watch Tropic Thunder. Yeah. No, Tropic way Avenger. blacker than him. Like I, I'm, oh, okay. I'm doing that. more like Malibu's Most Wanted, like oh, offensively. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Dude, do and not. Oh, it's funny because they did it, and they, and then they emailed me back. Like this is great, but there's some certain Erases. lines that weren't quite black enough that we're gonna oh. yeah, What? <laughs> Not quite in character. Yeah. Wait, yeah. actually? Yeah. They want me to reshoot some lines. It's just like undercover brother. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I mean, we need you to be. You sound to like be. you're munching on fried chicken yeah. and watermelon. Yeah, this needs to be more racist. And, and I was yeah, like, like I hell, mean, man. this guy's supposed to be undercover, right? Like, he, he's not <laughs> yeah, really, he's... he doesn't really talk like this. So a little bit of slip up is fine. And they're like, <laughs> they're like, no, you need to full send it. And I was like, okay, uh, is this like a blackmail <laughs> thing? Like, are you yeah, actually yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've already been Which farted it out. Because I mean, they offered to pay me, and I, it was such a small amount of money, I said no. I was like, this is, oh. if the most you can pay me is $150, I'm not fucking, I'm not going to take your, your money for that. Uh, every line ended with, and I'm Sam Blank here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I said that. Okay, yeah. this is a weird script, but okay. I, yeah. I don't want any money. <laughs> Yeah, more, every single amp it up more, even more. You want me to amp it up more? <laughs> What's funny is like the whole project was a uh, has like the the character's been voiced, but the guy that did the previous voice acting, he didn't have a good mic, and so they want me to oh, redo God. it with a higher quality mic. 
and uh, they were like, here, li- listen to him for reference. <laughs> they just had a black guy doing the voice before. <laughs> 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 or maybe the guy just did a really good job and you were like, whoa. Uh, no, really I'm fooled. definitely <laughs> just stealing a black guy's work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm just, like, <laughs> because you have a better mic. That's so fucked up. Yeah. You're taking the money they're going to pay you and buy the guy a better mic. I nope. Know. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Nope. Uh, yeah. nope, they I, have the I money to this voice now. <laughs> yeah. I'm the better black guy because I got the better mic. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Another fine example of whitewashing in the great world of New Vegas. <laughs> in, in the yeah. New Vegas model. New Vegas too everywhere. White yeah, man. Oh, uh, shit. <sighs> You're a bad oh, person. I, <laughs> that's, that's didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know it until I, I went that. to go actually record that's it, funny. and I was listening to the previous voice actor. I was like, I'm pretty sure this guy's just <laughs> actually a black guy. Wait, you man. should get your nephew to do a couple lines or something. Yeah. Uh, uh, on some yeah, new slang. Well, <laughs> it gives you five extra points to Ebonics. Come on. <laughs> Come on, method act. <laughs> you got the hair. Please, come on. You, you're like a little Jared Leto or Leto. Yeah. You got the hair. Come on, do the voice. Yeah, you can just do it now. It just... Yeah, you can talk like that forever as mom and grandma. Like, no, oh God, what have you done? Dude, dude, he's he's blacker than any of us, dude. He's been in that barber shop. He's sat in that chair. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, he got the cut. Yeah, he, he got, got the, the cut. Oh, God. Uh, Man. I, I need another beer. I yeah. think you can talk about something for five minutes. Oh, wait. Yeah. Not five. It's like three. I, I, was, been, uh, I was actually kind of... I have kinda, an idea. What? what, what were, I thought you were getting oh, your we're, beer. We're gonna do, yeah, I know, but yeah. you could talk about... I'm saying you could talk about. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're going to we'll be on about uh, this. PKA tomorrow, right? Uh, yeah, or, I'm there to oh, spread yeah. the good name of Forehead Fables. I'm yes, there to represent now, all of us. Do you have anything you want me to say to him while I'm there? Um, no, but you guys keep talking about this while I go get my beer, and then re catch me up. And you, you should yeah. you should sit in on my on my episode, boom. Uh, like in the back. <laughs> I want to fly you out tonight. Okay, <laughs> an angel yeah. on and your you, shoulder. You, yeah, you just we switch off. We fucking you sit in my chair, dude, and we. Yeah, because it's yeah. their episodes are four hours long. Holy Jesus fucking Christ. shit! That's a lot of talking. Those patrons are getting their fucking dollars worth out of those. How staffs. could you listen for that wow. long? How do you and talk they, for that long? Month. We can barely stay coherent for ninety that's, minutes. That's <laughs> longer than the extended edition yeah, of Lord what, of the Rings. That's what yeah. I was actually yeah. just yeah, thinking. The, that is a extended edition. That's fellowship watch right there. Like, not even that. Like yeah, hours. like that. Uh, uh like. Was it not Sounds of the Lambs? What, what's the other one? The uh, 40 other regular movies, <laughs> regular size movies. Yeah. I was gonna um, say Godfather, the like, feature film. The Godfather, yeah. like Apocalypse Now, yeah. Extended yeah. Redux, or whatever. Like, all those movies. Like, all I would rather watch hangovers. all that shit than four hours of one podcast like episode. Two hours. Uh, Jesus. I, this will really be a testament to your podcasting abilities. And if you can keep up yeah, there, you, for four no. then you could definitely carry a lot more of these episodes. You got a lot of life left in you. No, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to tap out uh, two hours in. <laughs> can you do that? Can you just leave? <laughs> I, like, I, I heard board. that on, the, on the subreddit. Bit. I followed their subreddit for a while because I, I thought it was funny how much they were screaming at them all the time. And yeah. uh, on the uh, on the subreddit, I saw that... Um, <laughs> They were like, why do some of the guests just get up and leave? <laughs> <laughs> Brief intermission. Uh, yeah. Leaves for 30 minutes. Like, four hours. <laughs> going on for a while. I'm out. And they just get up and walk yeah. away. Oh my yeah. God. I have uh, a feeling they're about as good a, a, at incorporating guests as we are. Yeah, that's probably fair. Which will be a good uh, lesson for you, maybe. Well, who the a good fu- learning no. being on that side of it. Maybe you'll learn a better methods and talk about that i'll be right back yeah keep working that <laughs> oh, martha stewart that, that is done. fucking insane though asking a random ass dude to be there for four hours yeah well they also like, picked a very shit. inconvenient time they were like hey can you like we're gonna do this at like 7 p.m and and <laughs> I, I told abby i was like that's like dinner time for me you know who the fuck starts a, a podcast at like 7 p.m abby acted like that was ending the world she was like what the fuck <laughs> 7 p.m. That's now. the middle of dinner time. Then the kids have to go to sleep. And like, I'm like, 
bitch, I pay you to sit at home all day. <laughs> she fucking quit her job. She works for me now and she basically does nothing. Yeah. I was like, you can't fucking handle the kids for two hours while I, you know, before bedtime. But four hours, you're going to have a lot of topics to talk about. I think they, they get a lot I mean, of pre-written stuff in. Uh, they yeah. not pre-written stuff, but they, they get four hours. No, they, they probably yeah. have like stuff like I save some some crap on here to talk about but it's we never end up talking about we it we should really start doing that you know what i mean and they're always it's always stuff start. that's like why the fuck do i even save this like there was a yeah. let's see only fans model charlotte angie uh cut up into 15 pieces by her uh by some <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like, Great like, topic. You can I go at least an hour on that I one. I thought yeah. it was gonna be way no, like that was okay. Because well, I remember I was on I was on a website, you know, and and like they were uh, there. It was like one of those. Uh, it was a website where they have threads where webums are posted of pornographic nature, and I was um. I was on there and people were like, whoa, this is insane. Like this, way. it was just web. I'm a f she was cramming all sorts of stuff in her ass. And I was like, holy Jesus Christ. And everybody like replying to it was like, this is really fucked up now knowing what happened to her. And so of course yeah. I'm like, okay, who is this lady? I look it up yeah. and it's, yeah, she apparently just got dismembered. It turns out that like, like if you minifigure just pulled apart. Yeah. Oh, they, Jesus. she got drawn and quartered or something. Apparently she shot some like porno with, some guy and then i guess it the came cartel. time to like pay her and instead he's like or i could kill her <laughs> which would be a whole lot yeah. easier yeah yeah but i also saw a uh i remember a long time ago there was a like a bdsm related porno that was shot and have you seen those where they like only fucking freaks are into this since they fruit you're probably <laughs> one of them but have you ever seen yeah, where people yeah. do like the pvc full body suit <laughs> like a pvc Pipe? No, what? no, like no, no, it's like it's, it's, like, it's, a, like, it's like a latex, latex like full ass then I'm suit. Not aware. I just look at those okay. people. I'm like, like the, I would be sweating like a hog in that thing. Like that is the least <laughs> yeah. sexy I would ever feel. Is just completely you come out like a roasted turkey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're doing the reverse of what you think. We're gonna get fully clothed. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. To get, I, I don't want to get shrink wrapped in fucking plastic, which is what yeah. they're doing. And like they were shooting this porno where they had like one of those, and then they had like a breathing tube. Right. And like the whole play with it, like the kink is that, oh, like the person gets to determine when you breathe or whatever. It's like extreme oh. shit. And like they, they like shot this entire and porno. And then this guy's like, instead of paying this lady, I could just like seal up the breathing tube. <laughs> oh my so he just capped that fucking really thing. Making you wait for it. Yeah. yeah. He capped that fucking thing. And then she died. And I was like, dude, I would. That's fucking horrifying. That is like yeah. one of the most yeah. horrifying ways to go. And then I remember there was also a CSI episode where I they got they had to have gotten it from that case because they had the fucking that in the intro. That was the that was the case where someone got the little breathing tubes. They put their thumbs down on it and held them. I feel like a good way to write a crime show is to just go find the real stuff that's happening. Actual horrific and stuff. Yeah. Crazy. Yes. And then just be like, and then we'll turn that into a show. Yeah. And let's get a couple of hot actors and one of them is the main cop and one of them is the main detective. And then a really messed up story that actually happened to someone. You want to hear like a really messed up one that happened a couple of days ago? And people are blown away by it. They're, they're talking about it for the wrong reasons. And it's uh, oh. it's happened in Atlanta. And this like old guy, he's like 51. He gets out of his car and he's like walking into a store or whatever. He's walking down the sidewalk. He just pops out of his car. And right when his car pulls up, this guy walks around the corner, comes up behind him, shoots him in the back of the head. And then the guy just grabs like a little pamphlet book out of his hand and then walks away. And Dude, that's like him, man. Yeah, but mm. like the the camera keeps filming. It's like a CCTV thing. And like two different groups of people walk up and just like see the dead guy and rifle through his pockets and steal shit and run away. Oh my God. <laughs> like it's like a Red Dead Redemption yeah. type. And, right and everybody's like, oh my God, like they, they, this is horrible. People are just like looting this dead guy. And I'm like, that's not what caught my attention. What about the fact that this guy walked up, this dude just got executed, and the guy grabbed a book out of his hand? Like, what was in that book? What was like the it, Gideon Bible? It had to have been something it was insane. A sports almanac from the future. <laughs> yep. yeah. Yeah. That was some insane shit in that book for him to kill him FBI over it. Secrets or something. Yeah. In broad daylight, oh, this shit happened book. at like 3 p.m. middle of the fucking day. <laughs> In the, on a busy street, it looked like just gunned him down, stole a book, ran. 
Donkey Kong. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly <laughs> some hidden motives. Yeah, that, yeah. You know, awesome. Yeah, what would you kill a guy for? What's the lowest thing, smallest thing, I guess? Um, the problem is if you're contracted yeah. to kill someone, like they, that's a that's a link right there. That's what sucks because they're gonna flake out probably, and they're that's just someone that can say like he did it, you know. So if I'm killing someone, it's gonna be on my own volition. And I'm not yeah, going to tell anybody mean, about it. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean yeah. as a hitman. I meant if you were just going to murder oh, someone. Oh, if I was just to murder you, someone you know, on my own. The smallest <laughs> thing, like if you shoot a guy over a or book. his car, a book, a really good book. Yeah. Uh, no, it wouldn't be anybody I knew because they, they're obviously yeah. that's the first person they're going to look at is relatives and it's going to be oh, me. No, yeah. yeah you can so, drive to a different yeah. state. Like Indian all those people that murder their wife or whatever, it's like they're going to look for the husband. Yeah. Like, you don't murder your wife. Person, you find yeah. someone that looks like your wife and murder them. Like, or if you're sensei for you murder like old fat guys that look like the drawings yeah. you used to do when you were a teenager. Yeah. 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 When you were a teenager, you used to draw fat guys getting gutted and you were like, oh, it's because fantasy stuff, you know, like dragons or whatever. Uh, it's a classic yeah. trope in fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. Tracking yeah. Off, in the dragon, always, the dragon always in his drawings is always too, just like thing. him with a big dragon looks like tattoo it, on his back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Red dragon. <laughs> do you want to yeah. see the dragon? Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Him gutting people. Oh. Yeah, uh, is Red <laughs> Dragon the Sounds of the Lambs sequel? Yeah, or something. I've never actually seen that. There's a part where a guy That's a good movie. <laughs> does that. We can't see my arms, but he extends them, and then he has a dragon tattoo. He's got a full back so dragon tattoo. It's so that is badass. badass. Yeah, that sounds he's like, nice. he Some turns cool around, drops before. the robe, and does the full arm stretch out. It's fucking badass. Red Dragon. Yeah, you need to write that shit down. Philip Seymour yeah. Hoffman's Tattoo. in it. Uh, Ray Fiennes in it. Edward Norton's in it. Uh, Anthony Hopkins, and then uh, whoever they got to replace Clarice or whatever. Jodie Foster. She's she's not as good. Uh, Ju- Julia Julianne Moore or whatever. She's I, not really as good. Replace her because uh, Jodie Foster Ooh. was like, I don't want to get stuck in the rut of being a female FBI typecast uh, with a I southern agree. accent. Because, uh, you know, movies keep popping up every year where you're, they, they need a female FBI agent with a southern <laughs> accent. So she's probably going to be playing that yeah, same fucking role hard forever. Stuck. Yeah, hard stuck. Yeah. There's worse things to be hard stuck as. I mean, you don't want to be yeah. typecast. You know, I've said it. I don't want to be a guy that gets typecast yeah. with a certain bit or something. <clears throat> so I, I guess I do get it more than I originally thought. Good for you, Jody. Mm-hmm. For you. What is she up to nowadays? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, any movies. She Those ain't are an FBI only agent coming. with a southern accent. <laughs> yeah. That's for damn sure. Yeah. She's just a lesbian. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, she's yeah. probably in like lesbian movies now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Strictly. Strictly those. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, a new Ghostbusters or something. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it's like. <laughs> oh god, I changed that. <laughs> so I I noticed that like uh, well, your nice style has <laughs> changed like significantly with uh, from going from like pen, pen and paper to like digital. Yeah, so here's I guess since I accidentally changed a scene, I can show you this. I drew this scene in Procreate, and this is my starting soon screen. I don't know, talking, just chatting. I drew like a this digitally. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know what happened, but I graduated and was like, you know what? I'm kind of tired of the traditional way. And so I just grabbed an iPad and with my stimulus money and learned how to digital art it up. So, mm. yeah. Like the comic book style. What what kind of money did you get from the, the stimulus? What kind of money? Yeah. As in the exact, the exact <laughs> amount? Well, I mean, they send everybody like what? the same check, right? But I know like if you have kids, you got more. Um, I actually only got one and it was really weird and I was still underneath like my parents, like I wasn't married yet. Yeah. So they got half of it or they got all of it. And they were like, well, technically this would be yours if you weren't still living here. So they gave me like a quarter of it and it was just enough to buy an iPad. Mm. So yeah. Damn. My parents it's, never they sent me like bought 1400. or supported any of my I was art like, what the stuff. hell? And then they, they oh, kept man. sending me 1400. And I was like, why are they? And they, I knew that they had stopped sending it to students and people without kids. I was like, I guess this is like, yeah. finally, these kids are paying off. So that shit was <laughs> nice. They <laughs> paid for daycare for, yeah. you know, okay. a month. My, my parents didn't pay for 
uh, like any college stuff. There, my dad was like, I did it my one, yeah, my way. Sad. I paid Pull all my tuition. Your bootstraps. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna do it all yourself. He got his doctorate. And I'm like, how yeah. did you even pay for all that? Yeah. I've, I can barely afford to. Well, pay for he, my, he went in like yeah, the '60s, I'm sure. Yeah, and then, sure. you know, like and then he, he was like, okay, I got then. a doctorate. What are you doing? And he saw that you're like in art school and drawing fat guys all day. So he's like, I'm going to pay for that shit. When my dad would get in my sketchbooks, he'd be like, yeah, <laughs> so for? you want to be an engineer or? <laughs> no, I want to draw Anything fat guys. I, I just want to draw these guys <laughs> uh, all day. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I like this way. Yeah. So, yeah, I remember senior year of high school. I was like, dad, I'm, I'm probably going to go to school for art. And he was like, oh, like architecture I was like, <laughs> architecture no, you mean yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, like drawing up plans right and stuff no no not not that i didn't even know anything i just went and did lying they, yeah be a lawyer like, yeah lawyer. architecture truly, or draw yeah. draw your oh my yeah. god <laughs> draw your okay yeah. draw your room artist for a <laughs> law, <laughs> lawyer law room <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and my my mom to this day still sends me stuff of like don't call art me jobs mom. Uh, at I don't even know where oh, I just Moma. Dave Ramsey like oh well, you could work for Dave Ramsey uh, <laughs> well, that sounds a little so. more you know, supportive after this, though, that's nice yeah, sometimes maybe, we get like yeah. a parting gift for our guest I'm gonna get you a Thomas Kincaid autobiography and I'm gonna oh, let you sweet. read that. Yeah, sometimes we get guests. You yeah. get fucking homework as a guest. No, no. I can't uh, wait to listen to that. Oh, yeah. That's so great. You already told me to listen to Etta James, and I had to listen to... <laughs> yeah, I went to a stream, and he was listening to fucking... You know, I don't know what the hell he was listening Good stuff. to. He was listening to, like, yeah. Ray Shrimmer or whatever, and he was like, this is what I, I danced to at my wedding. And I was like, oh, I danced yeah. to Etta James. He's like, who the what? What the fuck? And he like <laughs> uh, he had to yeah, look it up, and no he's like, idea. the picture's all in black and white. This is like old people shit. <laughs> you know what the Humpty Dance is? He didn't song. get it. No, the I don't. Humpty Dance is your chance to do the hump. Oh, do me, baby. You know, you've never heard that. I feel like it's no. from your era more, Sam. Oh, it's no. just the worst. Like, <laughs> God, like it was catchy in like I don't know 2008 or something. Yeah. I don't know when it's from. It was just always a song I heard when I was a little kid, and it's just like the, I don't know, it's like Cupid Shuffle, but more aggressively bad, uh, yeah. I guess. It's I don't from know. 1990. Cupid Shuffle is still used to 1990? this day. 1990, yeah, yeah. Well, That would be, yeah, Prime. I, I would have grown yeah, that's up. Why I thought you wouldn't, that's why I thought you'd know it. This uh, was not uh, on the on the playlist for the, the local skate rink. It's... That's where I got I, all my biggest it. hits. Was at the they skate played, rink. They played this song at my dad's wedding with my stepmom, and I remember being like, "What the hell is this?" <laughs> and then I remember going absolutely ape shit to the song on the dance floor too, because <laughs> that you know those songs where they tell you what to do and stuff really helps with dancing. Keep it okay, shuffle, I do like know that. this song. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, what, what's it called? The Humpty Dance. Yeah, or something of the sort. It's by some guy with a big nose. I was really all Flames. about that Macarena, honestly, but uh, <laughs> that was man. more of my speed. Oof. Yeah. yeah, that was a little too fast for me. They gave a lot of directions very quickly. Dude, I said skate rink, and now like the memories are coming flooding back. You know, ah, they say you open me up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my first kiss at the skate rink. Yeah. No, oh, I remember oh. the smell though of all the kids oh. taking off their fucking shoes and shoving them in like That's inline disgusting. skates. Yeah, the, the just the shoe smell is vomit inducing i do remember the getting quarters bowling. and putting them yeah. in the little the little machine and then you'd get out stickers and in the 90s it was huge to get in those like uh in those gumball machines they would have alien stickers that were reflective and shit like there was just a million <laughs> was in those little capsules yeah. or whatever basically or no? what poob has but alien equivalent That's just the, every instance yeah. of aliens uh. doing shit like <laughs> <laughs> like instead yeah. of weed gifts, it would just be alien stuff doing like weird, yeah. different like cool. alien heads or aliens doing peace signs and yeah. I had weed. those all over my fucking windows. For so I was like yeah. really into Area Fifty One yeah. style alien cartoon shit, and I, I had forgotten really cool. all about that until. Yeah. Uh, my my uh, ro roller rink had uh, nice little capsules with uh, the little like squishy ninjas. 
that were badass. Dude, I don't know yes. if you ever had those. Yeah. They're like pink, blue, yellow. And I think the they had yellow. parachutes. If not, there's another toy set that was close, and they had parachutes. And, oh, boy, you throw those off the top flight of oh, some stairs. Cool. Yeah. Throw right. those off a railing. Uh, great times. Half the time they didn't Did work. you guys ever have yeah. an egg drop in school? Yeah. Yeah, I passed. Oh, you did? Yeah, you didn't have an egg drop because you were like a homeschooled freak. Yeah. What about you, Brian? Did you have that? I didn't have no, anything. No, we didn't have an egg drop. No, they didn't. We made like fucking roller coasters and shit. Roller coasters? That what the sounds fuck? sounds higher budget. <laughs> yeah, like drop, a full but... ass roller coaster? What the yeah, hell? We made like, like, well, like a... Son of the Beast. Oh, like a, yeah, I guess that's like a, like a Hot Wheels track? roller coaster and never mind. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, but it's like a mar like you take a marble and you make like a track and make it do loops and shit. That's what that's that's pretty, yeah, Maybe that is lower all that science shit, shit to like make it do like an trick. erector set. You know what, I mean? what the hell is that? What the hell is like, like what set? the kid, the fucking homeschooled kid plays with from the Sandlot in the beginning before the he has friends. Mm, yeah. Can you set. expected us to know that reference or that's not a reference? That's, that's, like, that's like knowing Lincoln Logs. You <laughs> oh, knew Lincoln Logs. Oh, oh, oh. oh I know what Lincoln yeah. Logs oh, are. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not like that at all. Not like that. When I search up the erector, not like that. No, erector oh, sets oh, are like what the nerdy kids that are going to be engineers played with. That's like Legos for erector for men. Set. That's what my dad bought me. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was like, please, if this kid would stop drawing fat guys, that's just anything else we can guide him towards. Got you this for Christmas, yeah. please build something. If you, you asked me what I thought Erector would be before that, I, that is, I didn't expect it to be. Yeah, that, that is a badass company name. Are they still around? That is pretty cool. Erector. I had Legos growing super. up, not Erectors. Now the problem with the Erector no. set is you would use it to fling around like the ball bearings. And mm. after mm. the Sandlot came out, he builds a like a Rube Goldberg machine that ends up launching a ball, a ball bearing at his mom and hits her right in the forehead and almost knocks her out. And uh, I think after that movie came out, all the kids were like, let's build that. <laughs> yes. So I'm sure parents probably weren't so big about buying them. Once yeah. kids were using them to launch ball bearings around. <laughs> I want the mom killing machine from the movie. <laughs> the mom. Uh, apparently at Target, you can get the Erector <laughs> by Makano. Oh, yeah, it's, the, it's a parent company. Oh, shit. Kind of super construction or some bullshit. So at the egg drop, did you ever did you ever win it? Are you talking to me? Yeah, you're the, the only guy, guy that did the did egg one. drop. This the guy's guy homeschooled, and Brian's got the. It. Yeah, no, I. Uh, oh, you won it. Ball. I mean, I, listen, you're asking me to pull back mem memories from. How do you? Like so like long Dumbledore, ago, but just I, reach I think in I, there and just put it in. We yeah, we had one that was. You know, you try to do the parachute thing to slow it down, but we had one that was just pure. It just was built to hit the ground, and I don't think that one passed. And then I think the one with the parachute did. We did it twice. But I think we did in junior high and in high school. Do you have like a limited amount of tools? No, you uh, you, you yeah, just like yeah. you couldn't. Yeah, you just want to make it light. Couldn't you? But couldn't so you it's like, like cardboard? Couldn't you like? And shit could you like bubble wrap? Put a fucking egg in like a Jello. There was a and couple that did some, that where they were like, oh, we're going to put world. it in jello. And what oh, like happens is the something? egg shoots down to the bottom of the oh, jar yeah. and splats. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What if he did honey instead? Like a, bo a bottle of honey. Yeah, that would work if it was honey. enough. Yeah, yeah. What, if, what if I sealed yeah. it in amber and then I crystallized it? <laughs> yeah. And then dropped <laughs> that, that down there. Like yeah. Hard boiled it first. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just put it in a resin block where it can't be broken. Yeah. I would just, that would actually be pretty good is to just hard boil it. Epoxy it or something. Dip it in epoxy. Yeah. yeah, chuck it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't drop it. Throw it. Yeah. I want to see you yeah. throw it. I want to see you high. fucking throw your back into it. Yeah. Yeah. No, hit it with this yeah. hammer. Go on. They always had the janitors do it, and you could tell it was like the only day that they had fun because they would sit there and like look at each one, and they'd go, "How did this fucker think it was going to hit the ground?" And <laughs> they would throw it the opposite way, to, and you would see kids almost cry. There was one that was great where it was a tube, and the kid had put the egg at the top, and he was like, "Oh, I wanted to hit like." bottom of the tube first and so the egg gets like if it falls it goes down the tube fucking janitor just fucking God, just threw that shit off the roof like he was throwing a, fight, a stick hand grenade in, in the German army you know he just threw it like that and it just somersaulted and smashed <laughs> and the kid was what like the what the fuck oh, dude I'm in like third grade you can't be throwing it off like that 
Eviscerate. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. the bubble wrap that's like the big, thick bubble wrap? Oh, there was yeah. always one yeah. kid that just cheated and he just came in with like a ball this big of a bubble wrap. Yeah. <laughs> and in the middle was an egg. Well, it looks like I, I was win. like, that's, yeah, that's that sure how it, you're, of course that's going to work, you dumbass. Yeah. Like, you don't, yeah. that takes the spirit out of the game is to do just the giant bubble wrap thing. So, yeah. did you Cheap. pass? Yeah, well, I wrapped mine in bubble wrap. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah, no, that's how I think the one I passed. It had a lot of bubble wrap yeah, involved. It, and, like, it was on, like, memory <laughs> foam. Yeah. Surrounded in bubble wrap with, like, a fucking eight-foot parachute. <laughs> My grandpa was a paratrooper, so, yeah, I borrowed some of his tech. Uh, it's like, some of his lore. It was, yeah. like, yeah, use whatever you can find around your house. Like, what if some kids had, like, access to... Works, uh, yeah, it's like dad's, like, at the UPS store fiber, or something. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. My dad is actually dad. an egg packager. For, yeah. He for goes out a box an egg. Okay. <laughs> Nobody boxes an egg like this guy. <laughs> My dad's one of those chefs that works at a hibachi or whatever. <laughs> what? Oh, those guys are awesome. <laughs> Put it in the hat and then you drop it down. Yeah. They never crack so an egg until they want to, is what I'm saying. Yeah, they know how to keep it an egg. Yeah. I fucked up, man. Like, I. You know, I've told you guys about my how I perceive restaurants, and I just want to sit in a booth kind of like alone and just be able to talk to the person I'm dining with. Me and Abby went to a hibachi place for just like a date night. And she was like, do you want to sit at like a booth or like at the hibachi table? I was like, well, I mean, like we can like actually talk to each other and not be at like a communal table if we just go to a booth. And she was yeah. like, oh, yeah, of course. And then like. She uh. just had this stank to her for the rest of the night. Oh, yeah. And I was like, I, was, I didn't pick up on it. I was like, did I like piss her off saying something? And then I like put it together. I was like, that bitch wanted to be at the hibachi table. Like she wanted to, it's like, oh my she God, wanted to I'm watch the guy bitch. do the, the roll the egg and go, ha, huh, egg roll. That shit's cool. One of yeah, the main reasons. I've seen it places. already. Yeah. Like they all do the same shit. I'm, it's oh, just here we tricks. go. Onion volcano. <laughs> yeah, Again. Whoa. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Whoa. I still think yeah, it's so exciting talented. the fire and they squirt the sake in your mouth and until you're like choking on it and they throw shit at you. Uh, it's so it's always like when you're up, you're like, oh, man, if I, if saw, I don't catch this little ready piece to throw of it into your mouth and you're like, oh, the last God, time I went, he fucking did the sake shot and just got a fucking five year old in the <laughs> eyes. <laughs> How was she shooting at a five year old? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a five year old sitting in a mom's lap, and she fucking mm. she got the full mouthful, and then he like lowered it on accident, and it fucking got that kid right in the eyes. <laughs> yeah, and he and he just had to sit the there and like continue cooking and do the show, and the parents <laughs> were like, "Oh my god!" And the kid's just like, it hurts. <laughs> "He's sitting there doing his slapping motion, slapping the table, doing it. He's like, yeah, he's just trying to draw attention away hey, from the kid uh, screaming. Tough, <laughs> tough crowd tonight, huh? Where's all Smiles go. Come on. Like onion volcano coming right up. Oh, man. Grow shrimp Your right in the kid's volcano. fucking mouth, right in his eyes. Hits him with the full okay. fish, you know. <laughs> Just raw egg. Right. Can catch right. yes. <laughs> Smashes him. Oh. Here, cracks an egg over his head. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Yum yum sauce. Yeah. Yeah. It out. He doesn't he even use it to cook. He just leaves it there. <laughs> Keeps going. This kid wants another egg. Can you believe it? <laughs> Trying to bury his problems with just throwing yeah. more food at this kid. <laughs> <laughs> Doubling down way too hard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I gotta get him back in the second half somehow. <laughs> Grand finale. <laughs> I'll get him with the five eggs in your mouth. Quick. <laughs> yeah. The ketchup bottle with the string in it. They always fucking have that stupid yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, this is real hot sauce. Yeah. <laughs> hot sauce and fucking raw eggs. Yeah. And then he whisks it with a fork in his mouth too. Yeah. <laughs> now spit that out. He squeezes them. Pops yeah. down a perfect omelet. Yeah. <laughs> um, a breakfast for dinner. <laughs> My final trick. <laughs> yeah. Every uh, wow. I'm never able to finish a meal when I go to those places either. It's a huge never. portion. It's a huge portion. It's, Staying there. it's enough for three days. They so always yeah. watch you, too. They stay, stay there and scan you. Right. You're sure you like it? We have a very yeah. different... Enough chicken? I could give you more. <laughs> you know, I was watching like a, a guy. He had a great video idea where he, he goes through and he lives Winston Churchill's 
day of drinking because someone cataloged my dad everything. Is obsessed with Winston Churchill. Oh, he cataloged. They hmm. they figured out what did he drink throughout the entire day, and this guy does it the whole day. And he's like, this is an incredible amount of alcohol, you know? And there were some people in the comments that were like, you know, this really woke me up to the fact that I have a drinking problem because this doesn't sound like a whole lot. And you guys are talking about hibachi and like, it's an incredible amount of food. And I'm like, by the time they give me like the rice and I'm finished with it. And I'm like, come on, will you hurry up and cook the next thing? Like, hibachi, I, I, I hate it. Mountain of like, rice. How do you finish that rice? Dude, I, I, like, I demolish that shit plate. and I'm like, Cook the uh. fucking meat, dude. Stop. Like, come on. Yeah. Get the teriyaki on the Enough chicken. Enough of the foreplay, yeah. man. God. I'll take my chicken medium, all right? Just yeah. give it to me. Like, uh. what you do. <laughs> they don't. Yeah. yeah, I'm finished with whatever I have on my plate by the time they give me the next thing. Uh, and it's annoying because I no. like to, you know, get a little bit of chicken, a little bit of rice in the same spoonful or whatever. So I like I sitting know. at the booth. I'd love to see you and my friend Will out at dinner together. We call him the garbage disposal because anytime we are like, oh, man, I'm stuffed. You know, he's already fucking clean plate. <laughs> he's never said like he is. You have anything left and you're like, you want some like it's he's never going to say no. It doesn't matter how much yeah. you say. And he's in like good shape too. like. He yeah, looks I'm great, not. but <laughs> no, you're, in good, you're, in, you're all right shape. And uh, he. Oh man, you'll eat anything dog shit, cat shit, uh, pesticide. <laughs> if you ask him to eat yeah. it, he will. Yeah, garbage the disposal, trash. Yeah. Yeah, trash. Just Dude, you know, food. like the people have been talking about, like the dad bod for the last couple of years. I didn't get like what the fuck that was. And it's like you give your kids food and they'll, you'll open up a whole pack of something yeah. and they'll just take two and be like, I don't like it. I'm done. And I'm like, shit, dude, these are shark gummies. I'm going to eat the rest of these. Like, yeah. If you're leaving shark gummies around, I'm going to eat them, you know, or, you know, whatever it have is. You, have you found, though, that you've also gained dad strength, which they also talk no, about just I, from I, lifting baby the stuff around all the time? And yes. No, yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm 26. I got a dad fucking reflexes. thrown out back. Like, my, I have a herniated mm. disc. I've My body's in worse shape than it's ever been. It's not looking good. Yeah. yeah. You couldn't protect your At family. Yeah. Mr. Uh, Mr. Alabama over there, they got married so early and everything. I can tell you're going to be popping out kids soon. I can feel it. Um, and sure. when, when you my, do it... My, you got to make sure. I actually have five siblings, so I come from a family of like a big family. So uh, yeah, you got to. There's an expectation that oh, you're gonna have a bunch. I carry on six more. That's on the I already, seed, boy. I, I I got I have two dogs, <laughs> and they're not. You. It's not quite the same, but uh, I would assume. But um, yeah, they're a menace. One of them ripped up a whole. I live in a baby apartment. One of my dogs has ripped up the whole entire. Three foot corner of the carpet. Uh, that kind of happened um, to me too. They're gonna charge you. Fuck I it. have no idea how I'm gonna fix it. It's, yeah, it's, no, it's yeah. it's a nightmare. At this point, I'm like, well, we can put a few extra holes in the ceiling if we want to. You just keep re renting the same place. That way, they never come in and uh, take oh, yeah. the security yeah. deposit plus charge. That guy charge. came here one day a year ago and. I, I hated my apartment. I lived there for three years in a row because I didn't want to fucking paint my shit and clean my carpets. Yeah. And every year we're like, well, it's like the cheapest option. Like maybe we should one more <laughs> year. And then you go one more year and you're like, do I really want to move to the other side of town with all my shit? And like we've lived here for two years. I mean, they're going to charge yeah. us for all this shit. I'm pretty sure I found the cheapest of apartments too. So I want to stay here. That way I don't have to pay the outrageous I, costs. But I know exactly what the inside of your apartment's like. It's like the standard uh, carpet, the most, white wall. It looks like contractor a dorm, grade. Dorm. Uh, yeah. Loose pile carpet. Yeah. Yeah. Probably paint yeah. drips all over the walls and the mirrors. Uh, and yes. And the previous owners uh, had two cats and, uh, I remember like vacuuming and there'd be lumps of cat hair in the vacuum oh, just come up. It smelled like cat carpet. piss in there. And the guy was like, Yeah, I cleaned this place <laughs> clean. Yeah, that's good. I do. I, if a cat I would eat off it. Watch. In a place. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> years later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so right this carpet's so clean, it. I'd suck on it. <laughs> I moved in early too before we got married. I remember just sitting, smelling something, and I went into the kitchen. I would like I could just smell Dead something cat in cooking this. in the oven. There's <laughs> there would be like like I don't know just crumbs of food left out on top of the where the fridge used to be and stuff. So mm. yeah, it was horrible. You know, at our uh, yeah, where did the fridge go? Our old rental oh, no. had like a laminate countertops in like the the bathroom. 
Yeah. And uh, Abby left a, a fucking candle that was in a jar burning. She And it was yeah. like a really low candle and it got to the bottom and then it burned out all the wax and then the bottom of the glass heated up and it shattered oh, the glass and then no. basically cooked a brown circle into the countertop, which then cracked and so it looked like Christ. someone took like a, a shotgun a and fired a blank <laughs> down and it was like a, a, a it was comical it was like an acme song. bomb blast yeah. from <laughs> wiley coyote on the ground like but on the Someone countertop stick of dynamite in yeah <laughs> and uh and she was like crying about it and everything and we just took I think it was like a glade, like air diffusing, like thing, and just placed it over it like a coaster on the countertop. Yeah. And then we uh, left, and they never charged us for that shit because they walked in and they probably never picked it up. But like you pick it up, yeah. and countertop is blasted; it is gone. Yeah. <laughs> this thing was the perfect diameter to cover up any bit of it, and like it was, it's such a way. Like this bathroom was insane, where it had like mirror that had an angle and then another mirror and then had another angle and another mirror. So it was like a three panel mirror. And this thing was right in the middle where you could see this blast mark from every fucking conceivable (laughs) direction. Yeah, Like you had like this, it was like those dressing rooms that used to be in like Dillard's and department stores where you'd try on a dress and like stand in the little, you can stand in yeah, the the little mirror thing. You can see yourself from any direction. Yeah. But baby, that little Glade air diffuser thing, that fucking, that covered it up. Like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. We still got charged for like rims that they found buried in the side yard that weren't, that were from like obviously 25 years ago. <laughs> they were like, yeah. you left your rims buried there. I was there for one lease term. Not even a whole lease yeah, term. I don't think Just so. Just like nine months. And they found basically archaeological evidence of like a car being there from the 50s. <laughs> and they Jesus were like, Christ. this is your shit. And that. Yeah, These dinosaur really bones look oddly like yeah. yours. Yeah. Like, you see that I signed the lease less than a year ago, and you're digging up like scrap metal. Yeah. <laughs> Put up a T Rex bone under. Yeah. Yeah. This big treasure chest looks oddly here. like yours. Yeah. Oh, wait, I was telling Brian it. about this. I don't know how much this docs is my my life, but my mom's boss. This is like a one in a million. I just heard this story. Oh, sorry. Uh, I just <laughs> I heard this story like like a week ago it still baffles me how weird it is but my mom's boss was uh he bought like a piece of property and he was just hiking around it It had a creek that ran through it he found a fucking conquistador's chest piece oh from from like you know i'm in florida right so it's like from the the columbus like invasion or whatever he found that shit and gifted Mm. it to the university here and got his kids free rides through the university i was like that is like a one in a gorillion like how yeah. many conquistadors one honest, came but. here and two died in like in the area? Like that's just and it's yeah. how well preserved was it? Was it just a rusty like shape of? It was in one, better or? condition than those rims that they digged up and charged me for. Yeah. <laughs> tell you that the swamp <laughs> preserved it in swamp mud or something. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I'm sure it was rusted the hell and back and probably just uh, preserved in yeah. your piss. Yeah, yeah this that, that still is insane. That that is nuts. I mean, especially that he got. I mean, it's nuts he got rid of it, but also that he got two full rides out of it. That's it pretty doesn't good. Fuck, that, yeah. It doesn't matter because like, oh, this that's guy cool. is Thanks so rich. He's like the richest yeah. guy. I think he oh, owns a mountain, and like oh. he he's one of those fuckers that bought a mountain and and fucking like strip mined the top and put a house on top. We're gonna frack them out. Uh, yeah. yeah, he fracked it, <laughs> stripped it of oh, all yeah. its natural resources. It's basically a husk. Speaking of rims, uh, kind of buried under a house, uh, a couple of my friends uh, were, uh, I guess, kind of near them, where I'm from. They uh, moved into a house and it was like an old timey house. And uh, oh, that is wow, psychedelic. What is that? What did you just do? It's a door. Oh, I'm starting to... But uh, the weed is. They moved into a house that had a basement oh. that you had to get in uh, to from the outside, and you had to walk down. And they're like, it's so creepy. And it was like a four girls living in a house so they're like we're never gonna go down there and after they moved in they went down there one day oh that is so cool what a beautiful angle like in terms yeah. of like the camera quality yeah. is great yeah, fuck. Yeah. 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 like wow. we have a better camera doing this than yeah, the main a, it's a side like camera yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you, 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 you know, that, was my, again, like, that was my I need a place to hide while I celebrate 
Oh, nice. no, that was my that celebration was like angle. No, oh, that, that was like cool. a foreshadowing to your D and D character or something. Oh, no. God, if it's too Sam, it's a two-headed man. This fucking character. Uh, like you're gonna start singing. Wait, some, what the like, fuck was I saying? Oh, pop uh, song or something. But they went down to their basement after they moved in, and they found like bones, and they're like, ah, and like. They called their landlord. It's so distracting. I can't stop looking at it. Like, no, I, fucking, I'm also like, like losing my train of thought, but you can keep it's it. I want to do my camera so like that now. It looks like, like the Elden Ring fucking like, Academy it's, helmet or something. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> fuck the Burger King one. Well, yeah. What was I saying? Some, uh, I think I was at a McDonald's. No, <laughs> shit. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's the head. It's the head. It's up my fucking, story. It's, Look at it. I was the king. Wait. I, I know. I was talking about my mom's boss. Now I remember. Oh, shit. That was your story. Um, wait, no, okay. So now there's fat kids rat. that I drew Wait, as a kid. Oh, what my gosh. Guys? Fuck, what was I saying? Oh, um, they found a boner under the house. No. <laughs> they found Demons. bones under the house. And they called their landlord. And he's like, oh, that's a person. And he called the cops. And then the cops were like, no, it looks like someone like let a pig sit in this basement so long it died and turned to bones or something. They're like, this is, these are just pig bones. But uh, that kind of reminded It's like rims. Ribs. I guess yeah, that's where that train of thought went from. Will you turn that off? <laughs> yeah, like, it looks go back too to normal. good. It's too distract. Yeah. I don't know. If that's why I had, the, yeah, that's why I had like, the they streamer they lights kiss? going on. Wait, Those camera? are cool. Oh, I really need a better room uh, oh, with a closer background to display my oddities and stuff because it's like 12 yeah. feet and then a door. It's so you can't set shit up in between where I am and the door. Well, you don't I even have see the board. Six feet in this room. I, it's <laughs> that's it's honestly the like, some like like if you got that back wall gun, I could maybe fit a boar head there. And I did just oh, yeah, get just, a beaver for a top oh, hat. Man. You're uh, going to be so. the only person that's going to mount their taxidermy really low on the wall so you can show it off to stream. <laughs> well, yeah. but you're supposed to put it boar height, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. it's like... Boar yeah. Yeah. You know what you should do I want do it to is... look like a boar crashed through my wall and put, <laughs> and like, draw, like, broken wall all around it, get, like, pieces oh. of plaster and, and have, like, a fucking a idea. Idea. Yeah, You need to get so different like animal there. feet that are going through the wall as if it's, like, some oh. weird hybrid, like, elephant feet or something so it's like the yeah. board yeah. Feet. elephant feet sticking through like a pig's tail on this boar's body uh, that would, yeah uh, that's you know what everybody will be able to tell that shit apart. In, it, in its mouth yeah, yeah. when you have teeth. to move they're gonna make you leave that it adds to the property value yeah, yeah i don't i think if my landlord saw this she'd be like what the fuck is that like get that out of here because it's already it's like a meticulously like it's very beautiful it came furnished Furniture is really nice all around. I mean, I'm bringing in good furniture too. Don't get me wrong, but this boar's head is. Do you have that? Do you have that stereo Great. cabinet? Is it there? I'm picking it up on Monday or Tuesday. Oh, dude. Okay, Monday or Tuesday, man. You better get it before the podcast then, because uh, I want to see that for the the patrons yeah. need to see the the quality <laughs> of furniture that their their money's providing. Well, what, what like that? You can't go too high in price. The, uh, the, this guy, we ripped on him last time and he was on the verge of tears, but he is fully justified <laughs> his same verge of tears. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to see this thing too. It's I'm a fucking cool now. ass stereo cabinet. It's cool. Is it? It's cool. It is bad. Yeah, it's pretty no, bad. It's quite cool. It's quite if cool. If the shipping and wasn't also, like $480, I would have tried to snatch it, but that's yeah, the shipping is really what's protecting me from you in a lot of ways because the shipping will be more expensive than the item many times. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, anything that's bigger than like a small print, the shipping is fucking exuberant. I have a couple items that I might, I looked at it the other day, I might lose because they're in Columbus and it's like I have to drive fucking six hours yeah. total oh, to man. get those. And they're like, you have Ohio one week is... to pick up. Or else okay. what? Do they keep your One money? And then... I don't know what they do, but I'll, I've got like two chairs and I'm like, I would like to have those chairs. I mean, I spent like 30 bucks on them, but I would almost, it'd so almost be cheaper not of... to go there. Oh, for yeah. sure. The yeah. Chairs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm basically you know, stuck gas. to just buying art and that's it. Oh no, the art though is good. I've I'll, honestly, I've turned cuts. my room in a span of like two or three weeks from completely like brian room i mean it wasn't that yeah. bad no offense brian <laughs> and then now it's like i've got art i've got good furniture i it, it, i feel like better being in there now 
Like, I will just go in there and watch TV now. I never watched TV in my room before. You know what uh, What I did was I, I bought a house that had an old guy in it, and the old guy died and left all of his art. And he was oh, a good. very cultured man. And so people come in, and they're like, oh, my God, like, you know about the this fucking uh, what have you? And I'm like, absolutely. I know all about whatever. And I look at it, and it's like the Nebula Festival 1972 Holland. And I'm like, yeah, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> you think yeah, I would have I fucking, this of course if I, I didn't know shit. about it, bitch? <laughs> yeah. Would I have a Get weird out. four foot tall? Yeah. This Get guy out of my house! He didn't do shit frame wise that wasn't at least like a five foot tall frame. This that guy did so not sweet. fuck around. Those are so expensive too. You probably have thousands and thousands of dollars of frames. Yeah, just frames. House. Yeah, I feel like. Oh my god, it's so. I'm trying to get my. I've got a like a forty by forty inch. And I loved it. I got an estimate, five hundred dollar frame, what? and then I bought two more from Ooh. the same artist that were the same size. And now there's just no fucking way I can get them framed. Uh, so mm. I, our spare bedroom right now, the bed is I've ripped it apart, and it's just holding all my just my ripped art the bed flat. to shreds. Well, yeah, I, I every like every house prints. needs just an art just, room where you collect. It's kind of it's like a it's like, <laughs> like an art a gallery. gallery in there. Yeah, yeah, it is a little like a gallery. <laughs> No. And then, but then the guy that lives in that room technically came back like a week ago. Your curator? For a couple of days. Yeah. No, my roommate's little brother. No, no, no. And he used curator. to be your roommate's little brother. Yeah. yeah. And my curator no, came in and appraised yeah. 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 a couple of things. And yeah, I like, I heard, I saw him in the kitchen at night. I'm like, you're back. I'm like, whoa, oh my God, what happened to the art on your bed? Like, I was like, what, what did you do with it? And he's like, oh, I just set it on the ground. I'm like, my. It could be worth a lot of money one day. You know? yeah. Yeah. yeah, one of them uh, is like a really shitty painting that I got for like, I think it was six bucks. It was oh. like, you know, that's why I do garbage time. I get six dollar items. Yeah. And I looked it up and the artist, like all this other shit sells for like four thousand, five thousand dollars And I was like, what if somehow, and then I went and picked it up and immediately, every time I've ever gone in this place to pick shit up, they don't help you put it in your car. They just bring it out in a big, like, open wagon kind of thing. And are like, here's all your items. It is so fucking windy in Ohio every time I go there. And right away, they just had it loose on the top. They, like, here you go. It just blew across the parking lot and, like, skidded fucking face down. I'm like, oh, my God. And it's, like, ripped. And I have it upstairs, though. I'm like, I want to get it appraised, but I'm also, like... How much is that going to detract that it just, like, fucking... <laughs> Eight shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's What's oh, funny is when, you, when you run an estate accident. sale company, they Dribbled deal with expensive shit all day. Like, they don't... Oh, no, but I... <laughs> they, <laughs> they, like, probably, like, they probably give people like, Fabergé eggs they bought and just, like, fucking underhanded to them. Like, yeah, put this in the yeah. trunk or whatever. <laughs> but yeah. see, you know, the day I got the boar's head and it had an ear missing and the, they were like, yeah, this happened today. Sorry. Like, we can uh, give it's you, like, a, like, the a discount. Yeah. yeah, like, half off. I'm like, what's... Well, hey, I tried to do a joke. It was so fucking... I always think it'll be funny to try these jokes. I don't know why, but they're like, it's missing an ear. I'm like, oh, it's missing the rest of it, too. And the guy is oh, just, like, my... not working with... You know, it's supposed to be a dumb <laughs> joke. It's yeah. nothing. And he's like, oh, Did you double right. down? So, no. And the ear, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the body <laughs> no it was just fucking horrible and uh, yeah i got a discount though and then the people next to us when you're there it's so weird you just like chat up the people around you because you're all waiting you get there you sign in and it takes like 15 minutes and people are like oh i bid on that like you're the one that beat me like oh, oh and the people next weird, to us yeah. is this old guy they brought out his couch and it fucking they accidentally dragged it on the asphalt <laughs> for a second oh. and they flipped it over and it had completely torn through the packaging they had it in and just ripped, like, an arm of the chair basically off, like, the corner all the How way to, like, the couch they... bone. And they were like, the we can give you, the they're like, we can give you a discount or a showing? return. And he's like, I'd have to reupholster the whole couch. Like, <laughs> yeah. what the hell? Yeah. And, and they ran like, into a fucking cheese grater. Like, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah. 
and like it was like a three part couch and he had already put the first two full couches in his fucking U-Haul. Oh, it was part <laughs> of the series? Don't help you. Yes. And he, so he was like, oh my God, even God. if they did like matching fabric, like you would tell like that one's been yeah. upholstered. Yeah. And and yeah. then like he's like, I guess the refund. They're like, all right, can you take those out of your U-Haul? And he's like, God damn it. Like, <laughs> like oh, fuck. I, I would have yeah. taken them out of the U-Haul and smashed them right there. I'd, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. yeah whoops. Yeah. At that point, I would have shot that guy with a gun when he said that to me. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while since we've had a death threat, so I think we yeah. can let one slide stalk cut. Why? That. Yeah, uh, who the hell runs that fucking place? Is it just like a bunch of fucking retards? Dude, I don't, that, there was Why something just... else that day. I think something of my mom's was like. Oh, yeah, there's, like, a lamp she ordered, and there was a pane from uh, the glass missing. They're like, now that, at least they're honest. They're like, now that was not originally listed. Like, that broke. We can give you a refund or a discount. I'm like, well, how is this profitable? Yeah. It's their do, fucking yeah. slogan. It's their yeah. fucking I slogan. I mean, no, no. It's, place is bad. Don't get me wrong. I fucking love, I, I love this place. My entire room is dedicated to these people, and... Now all I really need is a good rug to tie it together. I, I think, think I'm sometimes done. the broken stuff's the best stuff. Around Tennessee, you can just drive down a back road and someone will have set like the perfect thing you need for the, on the side of the road. Foosball like table, a, no some, players. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's always those specific it's a stick, items. Stick table? That's yeah. like a yeah. really stick bad table. casino table. Like, <laughs> yeah. 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 A flat the casino table. table. missing yeah. all the, the felt. But. A casino table with no yeah. legs or grooves in it. Yes. <laughs> yes. I was yes. thinking the foosball table. You roll oh, the, the dice and thing. then yeah, it yeah. just yeah. goes uh, into the fucking yeah. score oh, thing. It's like, fuck. Yeah. Like, what else would you use a yeah. foosball table for without players? Like, what could you even do? <laughs> you can't even use ball. it. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, you have nice, you have like important meetings with it. Right? Yeah. You just sit across <laughs> You flip it upside oh down and then put extra legs on the bottom. And, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, hey, yeah. You know what you should do with that boar's head? Have you ever what? seen where people put like a, a taxidermy of a deer and then they'll like rest in the antlers like what they killed it with? You should get well, like I, a funny, like a medieval flail or something and just like. Oh, I just ordered a mallet the other day off yeah. that site. There was a large yeah. mallet and yeah. uh, I got it because uh, Schlee drew me as Gallagher in that one picture or what is his name gallagher the guy bam, yeah it's yeah, a watermelon yeah. so i got it so i could recreate that picture but now i'm thinking yeah i just put it you know it's like my home defense weapon is this mallet it's gonna be badass you say it's what you and filled then, with the boar with no 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 see the boar i'm already i'm saying that story. i ripped its ear off and that's how it died because the right. ears Blood out of a the ear until it is, okay and i'm like well i'll just glue the ear back the on is what will he my ever my stepdad when we were loading it into my car he's like and i'm gonna put the ear back here and i was like yeah yeah i can't i don't know where he put that fucking ear i think he, i think it fell out of my car or something because i looked like i'm like i, I scoured on the my side car you tucked it just under your ear. windshield wiper or something i'll put it right here yeah. and he stuffed it in his pants yeah, this is yeah. mine now lucky yeah. boar ear haven't you heard yeah. like a soup out of this yeah i don't know what happened so yeah now i've got to be positive about it and just be like yeah I, that's how i killed it <laughs> just no no, yeah, no it, noticeable bullet holes it is gross he, did, he didn't be hear, like he, he didn't hear me coming from the yeah, he's man. missing his ear <laughs> yeah yeah he was missing that his ear ohio he also boar. yeah yeah ohio boy yeah. yeah well there's hogs probably around here i don't know but it's gross Maybe. when i look at it closely like you see it's dandruff and shit what's well, probably like not dandruff. dandruff i don't know what it is dust dust bunnies but it's just kind of a gross thing to have in my room. And, and like when I have a, you know, what if I have a lady guest where I, I guess I'm going to put it in like a closet or something. I feel like it'd be a red flag. To no, see it, you got to have it on the wall. The and then before no. you start Wait. sleeping with this lady, you like you, you turn over all your picture frames and then you go over there and put a little night mask on the board so I can't uh, see what you're doing. Uh, not like, I or think if it was mounted, it'd be better than how it is now. Oh, it's, it's not mounted? Now, 
Where's it? Just <laughs> sitting on my ottoman, face off, like facing the sky. Uh, so okay. it just looks like just weird. Yeah. Like a, like a shark, shark coming uh, out of the water. Like, yeah. Just yeah. Straight up. Maybe I should mount it to the ground. Yeah. So it's like they can't even lift it up or anything. <laughs> like, do it on the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, right above my bed. <laughs> yes. Just looks down. And so you just lay in bed and look up at him. Uh, yeah. I, I can't falling go to on sleep you. Yeah. unless I listen to noises of boars like yeah. i put it in its mouth a little speaker <laughs> <laughs> and its eyes glow sorry the atomic hog is just a kind of medicine to me i need to hear this it would be pretty worth it to put optical fiber like light up eyes on that <laughs> thing. Like, like red or yellow eyes that'd yeah. be sweet i'm gonna try Alexa, if the turn top... on the hog and then yeah. everything comes turn... lights up yeah and... do you want to turn my hog on baby here's a yeah. she's like oh yeah your hog's so hot no Put the switch, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I I I got that top hat. That wasn't a joke, and my head's big. It, my head looks bigger in this. I have headphones on under the underneath this hood. Uh, let me clarify, but uh, kind of teletubby. It's not gonna fit me. Way. You know, a fucking top top hat from eighteen ninety. People were so <laughs> tiny back then. Yeah, right. um, that I'm, I think I'm gonna put it on the hog afterwards, and if I can get my hands on a monocle, that's or something. not good. If a hog head is smaller than your head, well, it's not. A <laughs> hog head is in shape for hats. In shape, you can put anything. It's like a table. I could use it as a little, like what eat my food off of it or yeah. something. That would that may be more appealing. Um, mm. it is a little disappointing. Fake tongue and teeth. Really, they thought I wouldn't notice. Come on, that was everything. <laughs> off. I was yeah. thinking yeah. Uh, you would have to keep re moistening those. Right yeah. No yeah. blood in it. You thought I wouldn't <laughs> notice that? Come on. Clearly not a clean cut. Oh, yeah, yeah, eyes I'm don't squish so. or nothing, so I don't yeah. even know why I fucking bought the thing. Wait, but. so if, yeah. if like under the <laughs> fur and everything, it's like foam, right? Because it's taxidermy. Uh, yeah. Make it more authentic with that hammer. Give it like a, like mush the foam down so it looks like you actually bopped it on top of the head with the mallet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you see, red oh, you don't believe area, me? Yeah. I killed it with the mallet? Look and at the top of his head. A his like, eyes are bulging a little bit. His top of his <laughs> head is yeah. flat. No, wait, wait, you push it down and then do the Looney Tunes and pull it up and shave the tip of it. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, a little bump. Yeah, airbrush it so it's a little bit red up there. Yeah, that would be sweet. Up a little bit. What do you think would happen if I skinned it? Would I have a foam block shaped bore? Uh, No, it would be skin or what? You should shave him. Shave his face so he's got a goatee. If you take the foam out, you can technically wear it. That would feel like it already feels disrespectful to the animal to have it as this but now if i <laughs> hey, it, don't want to it and stuff like you know i should probably bury it one day give it a fucking give it a face give it a burial at some point or put it on a boat and shoot it with a fire arrow or something yeah burn my house down with it something i don't know it tells Shut me to do it. a lot of crazy stuff but i just kind of blow past it uh but Oh, and that's a wrap. What is why, why are you doing this okay, camera angle wait, so hard, what is dude? That? I hate this camera angle. I hate how it looks like TV quality or something. It's oh wait, you know really, what else I can do is I can like do uh, clear. You got focus? Yeah, I can do like oh. weird like. Oh. Yeah. That's, second oh, that's nice. Wait, this way. There Four we go. hands. Oh, yeah. yeah there you go. Oh, psychedelic. Whoa. It's like weird little wow. spider hands. Some mid That is like there. classic. Lives. Like you get, yes, this <laughs> angle too. Like you yeah. get your first like Cam Wow <laughs> app on your iPod and do like every oh, filter. Yeah. Now look the it's other way. Classic. Look the other way. Instagram the filters way. that ever came out. Like with your eyes. That way they line up. There. Yeah. You know, a little. Yes. Whoa, yes. Right there. Whoa. Yes. All right. Stop. Thumbnail. Yes. It's starting to look <laughs> natural. <laughs> so <That would> actually... <laughs> All right. Now do tiny mouth, big head, top head. So lean in the other way. Whoa, but, yeah, yeah. Now get the two eyes. Oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it looks like fucking. It it's looks like, like Alien. Yeah, it's like Peyton Manning or something. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Peyton! Blue forty-two, go on, give me a blue forty-two, Sam. Come on, please. Yeah. <laughs> we got we got Peyton Manning on the podcast. <laughs> Get him on, hey. Indiana sweetheart, Yo, Peyton Manning. <laughs> Uh, that's, a tennis, that's a Tennessee original. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, that's the end. <laughs>